What's going on? I see we got a few people in this thing already. I'm sorry I had to keep rescheduling that thing, man. My timing wasn't right. And I didn't want to have to keep on quitting abruptly. And yesterday after I got done sparring, I did not want to come and do no live stream. So uh, you know that you know, I just you know, I went down for the count. I was down for the count tight. And I want to just chill out. But uh yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and continue what we left off here with this uh suspected lady here. And uh, freshest baby mama Daisy, if we if we can even call that, do we really know, or you know, is she lying? But let's get it. My LBDS, and he was like, "How much money do you spend?" I said, "Not much. What do you worry about?" He's like, "No, tell me." I said, I'll "Shit." I guess to go and fill y'all in on this thing anyway, man. Like, she, like it started off. She said that. Uh, she she didn't have sex with Fresh the first night. She had sex with Fresh the fifth night. And that was probably like the most thing that she's put out. But I was like, yeah, this was definitely thotty. And uh, yeah, this lady right here is definitely like super excited about catching Fresh down bad in like a Darren headlight. So uh, yeah. Uh, Derek, yeah. <laughs> hey, Derek, I thought about it, Derek. I thought about it, man. But let's keep going. Are you telling me this? So I was thinking, okay, this man just testing me because he want to see uh, what I'm, what am I up for? So I, I was like, okay, we go separate way. You go yours, and I'll do my stuff. Mm -hmm. This is how it went. We both went separate. So I went to, you know, buy stuff, shopping, buy clothes, and he, he did his stuff. Then we, we met up in the end, and he was like, "How much money did you spend?" I said, "Not much. What do you worry about?" He's like, "No, tell me." I said, "Okay, a thousand five hundred." He says, "I'm gonna cover that." I'm gonna send it to you. I'm like, why would you give me money? He's like, I want to do that because, I mean, you're my girl, so I want to do that for you. I'm like, okay. How did, what did, how, wait, how did he give you the, the fifteen hundred dollars? How did he give you the one thousand five hundred dollars? How did you do that? Oh, he, he paid out. Okay, he paid out that to you. Okay, okay, okay. All right. But just just to clarify, at the first place, he tested me. Okay, and for no matter what reason, he said that in the beginning, this is where the sugar daddy taking the sugar baby for shopping. So I said, I said, just let's go separate ways. I bought my own stuff. Yeah, but I got a question for you. You you spent one thousand five hundred dollars. What if you spent ten thousand dollars? Would he be like, "Oh, I got that for you"? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, what I'm saying I think what he was doing because he will get uh -huh. to that part. Uh, you know, what I'm saying anyway. So now, how do we get to the part where you get the real bracelet and y'all go fifty fifty? Okay, so after the shopping mall, we continued shopping. We went to Miami Design Street. This, she is asking a bunch of little dumbass nothingless questions. Like, don't nobody care about no goddamn bracelet and, and what kind of money y'all spend in the background. Goddamn, get to get to the real shit now. You sitting up looking like dark skin Wendy Williams. Your neck got three rolls on it. Let's get it. He went to pick up a few stuff. Um, and then he asked me, where else do you want to go? So I was like, mm, since uh, we can go to the Van Cleef store, because, you know, since we're already like, out and and uh, he's like, okay, we can go, but it's closed. And the, the next day we went. We okay. went next, the next day on, which is December December 30th. December. We went to the store and that was like, the, the sales gave me a bunch of stuff, necklace that cost 70, 80K. I saw the price. I'm like, okay, maybe this, this is a little bit too much. And plus it's not like, I don't even want it. So I looked at this bracelet and I was like, okay, I like this one. So he said, okay, let's get this one. Did he, wait, 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 wait a minute. How was that bracelet bracelet displayed? Was it in a case? <laughs> oh man, that boy Derek he'll bust wrong too. She can't blame fresh. Let's get it. Ace or and was the price tag oh, on first? No. In Miami, it's just we go and we sit down, and the sales bring whatever, whatever that's available. Ah, so she brought that bracelet, and and he he looked at it and he says, okay. Yeah. Okay. But he doesn't know the price though. Uh oh, what happened? What he said? But I know, like, because <laughs> this kind of bracelet was full of diamonds usually cost not less than 30, 20, 30 k depends on the brand, you know, Cartier or Van Cleef. So I didn't know he was shocked about the price. He was like. Wait, 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 how did he find out the see I want to know how did he find out about the price? The bill came out. <laughs> supposed to pay for the bills. The sales gave him the bill. He was like, and then he was shocked and he like sat there for a second. So I was like, what's wrong, baby? He's like, mm, 30k. I'm 
like, is that expensive? He's like, that's a down payment for Lambo. <laughs> oh, down payment for a car. We just got to know each other, so I don't know what the hell is this guy, you know. Like, Why are they acting like this is like this is normal stuff? Like, I, like that's a, that's actually a normal reaction from Fresh, surprisingly, to be like, oh yeah, thirty k. That's that's a down payment for a Lambo. But this lady sitting up laughing like Fresh is a broke boy or something for saying that. Well, I mean, we, I mean, we don't like Fresh at all, but that's not really like something abnormal for you to be running around here like, oh yeah. I don't really want to pay 30k for a woman I just know for goddamn two months or one month or whatever the hell when I could go spend that and put that on a, on a brand new Lambo. That's like, and then the little Asian, the little Chinese lady sitting there acting like, oh yeah, this shit cool. You, how much do you supposed to do? You do that, you do that normally. I, I, I thought it was not normal. What, what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? That's not normal in any parts of the world unless you're a goddamn Saudi Arabian oil tycoon. I just don't see it. What's going on, Van Lee? What's going on with you? Fresh really said my my Lambo truck. When he, yeah, hit boy. I, it look like he ain't gonna get it now. Wait, so we're gonna forget that Pussy Yo took it to right. Yeah, he took it to that yacht. That yacht. That's where he take them all down at on the yacht. No, 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 no stop! I'm tired of you making excuses for this man. He's a high value man. He's supposed to be high value, making all this money. Why is he looking at something that costs 30000 and go, ooh, that's a down payment for a Lambo? I mean, does, do you think Bezos says that? Do you think, you know, other... No, I, no, no, I don't think that. I just think maybe uh, some men, they prefer to spend the money in a smarter way. So that's why. That's what I was thinking. But he's the one with all the jewelry and the cars and, and the flexing and stuff like that. Does he look at his money in a smart way? He's I a flasher. Know. You just have, you, you, you have to know that before that, I only spent two days with him. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he, yeah, she's right about that. He is a flasher. But then Daisy comes out. And says, "Yeah, I only spent two days with him, and so that's why. He, so, so it wouldn't need no point in talking about the story. Then you spent two days with a man, and you expect him to spend thirty thousand on you out of nowhere? Come on now, let's go. Okay, you get a pass. Okay, so I just know maybe this guy's like interested in investing, and guys, plus guys don't spend money on bags, Hermes bags, jewelry. You know, girls like to do that. Okay. So I was like, okay, I understood. So I said, okay, mm, we're not gonna get it then." He, he didn't, he, he was like shocked, still shocked, you know. So I was like, okay, how about we do half and half? And he was like, okay. Okay, so let me see. What's good, uh, SM2099, man? You at work, man. Still, still listen. I appreciate you, DeAndre, man. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, man. Dare say fresh bed shit to hang out. They say, ew, you're ugly, but as soon as he brings up the yeah, <laughs> right, right. They switch plays real quick. And I don't care how good you got down bust me. You can got down bust me. I got down unload a spirit bomb on you. I'm still not gonna spend 30 k on you after one night, one bus, one only two days of knowing you. It don't make no sense. But let's keep going. Hey, like, so this is the, the receipt. I even though they doxed you, even though Myron doxed you, I still redacted uh, uh Walter's address and your name out of here. So we're looking at at the price tag. Uh, where it is close to thirty thousand dollars, so it says purchaser Walter, Mr. Walter Weeks, and then it has your name. But yeah. also, we have you where you contacted the um, the contacted the the salesperson through text, and um, you uh, it says you remember my boyfriend and I went fifty fifty on the bracelet. You said she said yes, the, the the salesperson, and then then she says both your names are on the account, and then. You said, is it Walter Weeks and your real name? And then the sales lady said, exactly. And then you said, perfect, thank you. How did he pay and how did you pay for the bracelet? Uh, we just both use our credit card. I, I believe he used his credit card. Yeah, Derek, you're right. It does matter because uh, because I guess we'll just, we're just going against everything that they say on their show. I mean, not only did he have the baby, but he's also spending money. And he's been a little, he's, he's he's doing an, an investment amount of money too early on, so yeah, I, you're right. This does matter. Big car, and I had my debit card. So you use so close to fifteen thousand came out of your debit card, and he used a credit card, and and close to fifteen thousand was used out of his his credit card. Okay. Right. So how did he feel after that? Does he? Um, he was happy. Yeah, he was happy. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. All right. And of course, you were happy, right? So, and I noticed that, like, when no, you, I wasn't. You were about the bracelet. I've never, paid, I have never bought it. Like, oh! but he gets when it has an app. And the only reason why I did with him because I liked him so much. I don't want him to feel like I'm like the reason. Oh why yeah. Reason one is because of material stuff. I, I still just like him, you know. But I also so fresh, so fresh, so fresh is really the one who like kind of like 
yeah, so yeah, Fresh is lame, bro. Fresh is lame. He definitely's running around here trying to, you know, leading with his money. Because she wasn't even happy about the bracelet. She was ungrateful about the bracelet. And then JP Ng says, all the receipts and people still back up Fresh down. They actually created the He Man Woman Haters Club. Facts. Facts, man. It's sad. What's going on, Promise? So he, says, he says, imagine having a podcast that talks about how to be a man and then doing simp stuff for, S- for an SEX worker. Can't make this stuff up. Facts. Fresh Severe says, Pussy O looks like he got money like that, but he really doesn't have it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think he spends his money so poorly that, you know, times when he should have money, he probably doesn't have it. I was mad because I got a fake bracelet. I never got any fake stuff in my life, time in my life. Even my friends get, like, I get Chanel and all this stuff from my friends, just like my regular friends on my birthday. I mean, like, this guy is dating me. You don't have to get me anything. Like, you can just. No, oh, Derek, I don't care how, I don't care how good she put it on me. I ain't, I ain't spending 15K. Not after no goddamn two days or a week of knowing you. Not even after a month of knowing you. You don't know what. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not spending a K on you, probably. But uh, yeah, e- yeah. Even if I do got the just the case to just throw out here the rack A's, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Sorry. Simply get me like a, a perfume or anything. You know that just shows that you're gen- you're genuine. But get buy me a fake stuff. That's just. But remember, he volunteered. He's like, babe, I got you something for your Christmas gift. I right. want everybody to understand. He was the one who was trying to flex. Like, yeah, I bought you something for your Christmas. For your Sorry, not Christmas. Birthday. I bought you something for your birthday. And turns out it was a fake, fake uh, bracelet. So then when it turns out that he, you want the real thing, you see what I'm saying? You have to come out your own pocket. Which is initially, if you notice initially, that's the reason why I was mad at you. Because when we first talked on JS Stream, I was like, I know you didn't go 50-50. You went 50-50 on your own stuff. But you don't know that's when you fell in love. When you fell in love with someone like that, you, when you really fell in love, you do you would do silly things. Okay, girlfriend. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Shout out to Primal Studies, man. Hit that like button, man. Shout out to you for being a like enforcer. Dare say 15k. I'm not spending ten dollars. I mean, after you buzz me, I mean I'll take out a dinner, but I ain't spending no no big amount of money on you. I can't do it. Man Lee said he spent the money and she still exposed him on multiple big platforms and called him ugly in front of the world. Embarrassing. Big facts. Huge facts. What's going on, Hurricane? Man, it's good to see you in this thing. DeAndre, this tree chick is irritating. She picked the right name, sitting up there looking like <laughs> facts, man. She she got her neck is all is looking like group, man. All them little ridges and gridges. JP Inc. says, men who leave with their money and status always expose are lacking of the more important things. Good looks and cash and cash will only get you but so far. And even then, you can still get betrayed. Facts. Yeah, that, yeah, you can get yeah, you can get betrayed at any point in, in time. Yeah, smash that like button. Appreciate Derek once again. We're going to wait 25. <laughs> man, y'all ain't going to let me live, man. Y'all ain't going to let me lay that down, man. Yeah, the drive. So you okay. It's all good, man. We're glad you're listening. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and with him love bombing you, I can see what happened. Okay, so let's talk about New Year's Eve on the yacht party because this is a very significant day because this is a day where the pictures were taken and they were leaked on Reddit. And so we're going to go down that rabbit hole. So tell us about the second yacht party uh, that happened on Christmas Day. But wait a minute. I would say, uh, I would say fresh. Uh, yeah, I would say, I would say it's, uh, she betrayed, so fresh betrayed her first and then I guess she kind of retaliated, so I don't know if we can say it's betrayal or what. But yeah, you're right, and, and that's and that's one reason why I guess everybody's more so surprised and this went viral, and people are really hating Fresh because before, let's admit it, we all thought Fresh was like this little green, ugly retard, the little ugly gremlin retard dude that you know he just you know he just happened to get caught up in in the Red Pill podcast with Myron. And, uh, you know, maybe he foots the bill or, or whatever, and that's how he's able to stay on the show and be the podcast GOAT. But it turns out Fresh is just as much as a trash, ain't shit gremlin as Myron is. He's just as mean. He's just ugly along with it. He's sneaky ugly. Fresh is like the Democrats, and uh, and Myron is the Republicans. So he's just, you know, he's up front of your face. Fresh is just sneaky and ugly with it. Yeah, leaving somebody after you busting is messed up. Big facts. It's huge. It's really messed up. Listen, I got a thousand bodies. I know everything about women. Trust me, bro. Facts. Facts. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She probably she probably is rich. She can fall in love without worrying about the consequences for her 30K braces and going on yachts. It's like taking the kids to check and cheese. Yeah, that 
Yeah, the way she's talking about it makes it seem like she did come for money. So I don't know. Brooklyn, what's going on with you? Peace be one. After you leave me and block me, after I'm not having a child, you would hold on, you hold on. So he blocked her too? Okay, yeah. Okay, I, that that makes it understandable. That makes it understandable. Yeah, hell has no fear like a woman scoring fresh showed his hand and she played her. Difference is she had receipts when he was on his block. <laughs> <laughs> that boy Mara, that boy Mara came through. That boy Mara came through. How cheap is it to rent a yacht in Miami? Might rent a yacht. Hey man, you might have to do that, man, and, and go ahead and vlog that for us, bro. We need you to vlog that. We need you to vlog that. Let's see what Van Lee said. Fresh is an uncared. <laughs> oh man, for real though. For real. Let's keep it going. Before you say that, who asked to did, did he? It was his idea to spend New Year's Day with you, right? Actually, before that, he already asked me to go back to Barbados with him for Christmas because he was there for Christmas, and he asked me whether I can go with him. I said I can't leave this country because I'm here on tourism. That if I leave and come back so quickly, um, they might at the immigration they, they might help me again. You know that's what they do to immigrate immigrants. So <laughs> hold on, hold on. Pump the brakes. How long did you guys know each other? And he, so before he decided to take you to Barbados to meet his mama? Right. The first time. So first you guys. Time. We spent two days together. After I came back to New York, we started chatting every day. And then he want, he was asking me whether I want to spend Christmas with him. He wanted to take me to Barbados, but I, I couldn't go. So I, I assumed that time he was with some other girl. As I just noticed, he takes. Yeah, everybody. but I'm, are you serious? You really think he's going to take that one girl to see his his uh, mama and his grandmama? On Barbados and Barbados. Wait a minute, is he that? Hold on, maybe I'm giving this man too much credit. I, I, is he the type? And I really don't know the answer. That that any woman that he that is somebody who's supposed to be out of his league that he takes to meet his mama in Barbados. Well, I guess that's the case. That's his game right now. I just noticed. I, I didn't know. I didn't know he took any woman to Barbados because that's something. But I don't he think he. Do. I don't think he did though. Uh, that that's that's a uh, triple temporary to me right there. So you not only so you uh. You had to first. You had to use your money and resources to even get her, to even look at you with the. You know, you had to go to the yacht. Then you had to spend the money, at, you know, for the bracelet. You put fifteen k down on the bracelet. Then you come back a few days later and you'd be like, "Hey, come! I will take you to meet my home, my Barbados, Barbados." She she probably was like, "Well, what down the street, in Opalaka? She and he was like, "He was like, no, no, no. We're going to Barbados. We're going to go on a flight, baby." And get a flip with me. So yeah, that's that's a straight simple right there, man. Van Lee say the yacht rental was thirty five hundred, man. So Fresh and Severe, if you want to go on do that, go on do that now. Taylor May says Daisy is beautiful AF. Well, all right, so let's go on settle this right now. Let's say we don't know that Fresh bus her, or let's say pre pre Fresh bus, like you know, because I I'm not busting behind Fresh. I don't really care how pretty for the lady is. I ain't busting behind Fresh. She's too pathetic for me, and he's just gross. Are you thrashing Daisy, and how are you reacting after you get done? Are you are you gonna go ahead and you know keep her around? What are you doing? You know, what are you doing? JPE said, "Let's be real. Myron is more emotional than ever before due to the fact that not only are they getting exposed, but he has to help fresh clean up his mess. Myron isn't mentally tough enough." Yeah, I agree, man. Myron's definitely not mentally tough enough. Like you, like you can see Myron's cracks being exposed every time something happens to them. Like how he was about to cry that time when they got demonetized and stuff. I mean, which I, I mean, I can understand crying about, you know, you losing millions of dollars, but it's like, all it's due to him. He's just such an idiot. Like, you know, he acts like he's so tough and all that until that happens. D Harvey, what's going on? He said, he just can't speak. Same obvious. <laughs> Martin has never been mentally tough. Facts. Tell you time, what's going on? Martin has temper issues. He's not fit for, yeah, he's not fit. So yeah, what would Martin, I mean, so like, let's say, but what about property tax? Martin says he owns 20 properties, but. If he doesn't have this this podcast anymore to you know to foot the bill for him, how is he gonna pay for stuff? Well, I guess he, I mean unless he I guess I don't know. I guess he's got his he's got his ways. I feel like all the expenses for that would be more than what he'd be bringing in. But you know who knows? There's yeah, so I think Martin has been way too emotional. The whole thing facts. Yeah, everybody's agreeing that Martin is very very emotional, very very emotional. Coconut some Barbados. Yep, that's what he did. That's what he did. The deep fresh has to leave with money. The dude is a horrible talker, probably isn't masculine, and a doofus. Facts. Imagine fresh walking up on you with that sloppy physique as a woman, and he like, hey, do you uh, you, you want to call me? Because <laughs> you know he can't talk. That's probably what he'll say. You, you want to call me? You, you want to call me? 
Like Derek said, they are who we thought we, we are. Th they are who we thought they were. If I'm fresh, mom, I'm telling her to stop bringing. <laughs> How many do you think the fresh is brought to the house, DeAndre? How many different thoughts you think fresh fresh are brought to the house? B1, Mike Miller, John, what's going on? Except for the Walter Daisy, me and Myron. <laughs> many people fail to realize that the physical attract physical can attract someone, but it's the mental, spiritual, and emotional bonds that keep someone around, but also keeps them closer over time. Let's see. Somebody say. Oh he, oh, he was doing a desk job. Let's see. Deep say Myron doesn't have 20 properties. Dude's a lot. I think he was definitely capping a little bit, too. I think he was definitely capping a little bit. Ain't no doubt about it. Bright ED, what's going on? Black Light, what's going on? I'm, I'm finally here. I'm finally here after after 30 hours of, uh, of flaking. DSA1, what's going on? Well, let's go on and keep it going. Uh, I don't think he, he is. Did. He did. He, Myron said that on the show. He took multiple women, at least five. Okay, girls. Myron is a liar, and we'll deal with Myron Ooh. Gaines, who's a homosexual. We will deal with him later. Okay, Myron lies. Don't we, don't listen to Myron. Okay, like, hey, because so far we know of two different women that he was serious about. I think one of name was Miranda, and I don't even know if Miranda went to Barbados. You know, he told me Miranda is not his girlfriend. Well, she was his. They're not together. No, no, I said, I said she told me it's not his. They were not together. They were. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. People are gonna clip that and just basically I don't debunk know this that. Person Miranda, they came out all the time. I don't. I'm not interested in digging his past. I don't care. Yay! I got a subscriber. <laughs> never honest with me. Never. So, Lie all the time. Liar. <laughs> okay. So all right. So he wanted to bring you to Barbados on his on Christmas <laughs> Day. And um and then when did he come back from when did he come back from Barbados to Miami? Uh, I think maybe twenty seven because twenty eight he picked me picked me up from the airport. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he went back for two days. I don't remember exactly the date. Okay, okay. And then so all right, so we got that we got that taken care of. When tell me the part about the New Year's Eve. Okay, so on New Year's Eve, uh, he took me to the yard party where they did a New Year yard party stream. So the whole Fresh and Fit team was over there. So somehow I got into the camera. They caught me holding Fresh, kissing him, talking to him. So they started digging in me. They found my Instagram. Um, as you know, guys, they are Ooh. they always said that on the show that if a girl dress wear a bikini, expose herself on Instagram, she's a whore. Mm -hmm. So his friends are so they just stick in me and find my Instagram photos, and they already was like so sure, like oh. Oh, you know, that's just not true. It's because you guys are. Hey, that's real though, Black Light. I, I wonder what they would do if it was like, let's say Fresh somehow got Daisy, uh, not not Daisy, but uh, he got Angel Reese. Let's say Fresh somehow got Angel Reese. She was like, come on, done from LSU, and I can have you a good time in Miami. And you're like, I don't know, she some he somehow, uh, you know, he got on the yacht, busted down, skiing all up in there. Her basketball career was over, and now she's on here doing a little pressure on. You think Jet Tree would? Would really sit here and uh and really interview her and be talking to her like yes girl yes girl yes yes and shout out to uh to Bright E man he said Jet Tree looked like a like a man from Transition in Facts yeah it's, it's not looking good like I don't know like it's like a a mixture of that woman who tries to do bodybuilding and like uh, also a transitioning person at the same damn time it's not good it's not good. Ooh, real estate purchase of public knowledge due to diners. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Does he have 20 properties or does he have six? Uh-oh. 20 properties or six. We're going to see. Jada Informer. Yo, yo, yo. Word of fresh, baby mama. <laughs> what's going on? Milagros, what's going on with you two? I didn't say what's up earlier. One of FNF goes down and the other red goes down also. I think uh, if, if FNF goes down, I could imagine like Rolo Tomasi kind of on that. On the doing like a stream, like I told you so. You know, I just told him, like I said, fresh. You know, you just keep on messing with hot water, and it's gonna burn you eventually. He he makes some little thing like that, and then he'll be like, yeah. And next thing you know, now they're gone. And uh, well, Myron, I talked to Myron the other day. He's doing good. These guys are my best friends, and uh, and Myron, you know, he's he's messing with his properties, but the properties are going hard because they've got squatters' law. So you know, some some uh, some migrants have recently jumped into his properties. <laughs> so it would definitely be like that. 
It would definitely be like that. But our revelation is no. The only reason they're giving Daisy benefit of the doubt is because they're more invested in hating fresh and have been running the fresh and big grill. Facts. That's big. That's big facts. That boy Marquise is back in the fold, man. He say Duke and Don needs a job. He say Duke and I think Duke. I think Duke is in tech. I think he's actually in tech. I think he makes pretty good money. So I ain't gonna let you slander him like that. Now accountability tube is no different than the people they hate. That's real. That's bit real. That's bit real. Let's go on. Uh, the, the fresh glazers have entered the chat. The, the, uh, the chat for real. Marquis say not all properties are public. Most of my properties in trust. I don't know. Myron ain't got no goddamn trust properties, Marquis, because Myron's not from the U.S. So I mean, we about to find out about Myron. I can't wait till Duke and Dot do that. Let's get it. Are influenced by these people, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then they start talking about me, Ooh, and then two days later, Fresh was like, "You should come to the show. You can clarify yourself." <laughs> So I was like, okay. That's so, so hold on, let me repeat all that. So, and ask, and ask a question. So when you all were at the New Year's party, because this was his idea, right? Yeah. So pictures were taken and it was leaked on the internet. And Oh, yeah, they were trying to play me. Yeah, but uh, Derek, I agree with you, man. This this hate on Fresh is definitely good for the soul. I ain't rocking with Fresh, man. At first, I was like, man, he's just a little retard that's just, just been sucked into it. But now we see it. Tony say, don't FNF sell courses that's supposed to prevent situation. They do. But apparently, that uh, that whatever, what's the price that we put up? $7.99 a course. That ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Marquis say, Myron was a U.S. citizen. He, that don't mean nothing, but Myron's, but Myron's parents, think about it. Your parents are from here. Uh, what's the name, Marquis? At, at least one of your parents is FBA. So you, your parents are from here, and I guess your other parent Haitian. But Myron's parents are both from Sudan or, or Arab Emirates. Unless they bought some property in there and came over here, then uh, he's not running around here trust, having no trust or nothing like that. And just because he was a U.S. agent don't mean he can have no trust. I don't, yeah, he ain't got no goddamn trust. I can get a yacht for 160 an hour or 1500 for a fourth of a day, depending on the size of the yacht and the company. Okay. Okay. Frizz and Seville did that research, man. Now it's time for the vlog, man. You got to put up or shut up now. You got to put up or shut up now. If you block me and I'm pregnant with your child, I'll lose it too. That's real. That's that's such a lame thing to do, bro. That is such a lame thing to do. Like get somebody pregnant and then, and then literally leave them. That's so lame. That's so lame. Duke is a loser. If he, if he was smart, he wouldn't live in an area of Broward. In that area of Broward, what, what he lived? That's uh, what's that? Toronto? Is that that's Canada? Duke live in Canada or Duke live? In, I thought Duke lived in Wisconsin. I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't even know what what area. Does it matter if he live in what area? If he got a decent house and all that, he you know he handling business. Why does it matter? How does it make him a loser? You going to press to a dog man out? You laid up with ah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, he, but he, he did block you. Like, it's like he, you're pregnant with his kid, though. And he, like, just like, he, like, he, like, said, he said, F you. And he left you stranded, blocked you from all type of communication and all type of resources and monies. That's ugly. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Right. He said, Daisy said, fresh and broke. Yet he went, had one on a breast. How is that smiling? I thought, yeah, that's real. That's real, though. Or you say how's it simping? Oh, okay, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, he went, but her, him going half on a brace, I don't think that means he broke. Cause you ain't just running around here throwing them K's out like that. Jake to show character is something that I can't get behind. I'm not the type. Of, yeah, all you have to be is born here. I don't know. I don't know nothing about all that now. I don't know about all. I just say that uh, Myron is not having no trust out here in these streets because his parents. According to Myron, came here running around here on them on them taxi cabs. His daddy got a little taxi business he was doing. Eight hundred dollars to listen to fresh stutters. <laughs> Imagine you paid eight hundred dollars. You you turned your computer on, and you had to first you had to install the the fresh and fit uh, program. So that took you about goddamn two hours or some shit. And then you finally get on there, you click on it, and it's it is buffering. Next thing you know, fresh is like D -d 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 you 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 now you know what to do. 
And then next thing you, know, you don't even know if it's buffering or not. It's bad. It's bad, but let's go. All right, trying to call you all kind of name. Then, um, and I know they had defended you on their show, but then, so you're saying that Walter said that he wanted you to come up there and clear your name Ooh. onto the show. Right. Right. What, do you, let me see. Do, do you know when I, I remember looking at that show? Do you know what? Oh, it was in January. January the third is when they is is when you was on or coming on there, right? Yes. Okay. I went to the show on January third. So I got to ask this question: how how did Myron and uh, how did Myron and the other guys treat you when you were on the show? You know, Milagro, my homeboy, he. He kind of does that, like he'll buy courses and then tell me about it just to kind of like let me know if they're doing some fakery or something like that. He said that the tape course was was definitely hot garbage. So yeah, I definitely understand that, man. The tape course was definitely hot garbage. And Mike Miller John said as if their YouTube account get it demonetized wasn't punishment enough. Now Fresh's paper is gonna drive even more if the Taylor Days decide to put him on. It's gonna be horrible for him. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. There's no solid proof that she pregnant. That boy Marquise, he gonna fight with fresh and fit to the end, man. We all need we all need a friend like Marquise out in these streets, man. You've been the goddamn grape with somebody. Marquise like, nah, he didn't grape her. He didn't grape right. We saw him on camera. We saw him on camera. He he tore up her pants. Well, he didn't do it. Dude got mad when he heard fresh and fit got 13 million deal from Rumble. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad about it. I just I just no, I don't know if I believe it because Rumble's like kind of a, a new company. I don't know. Do they do they got money like that? Let's get it. Um, they were okay. Mm -hmm. No, they. I guess so. They wasn't disrespectful at all. That's. I'm, I'm not. I'm actually. I, I know they. They that they don't disrespect the girlfriends of um of uh, the guys there. So that's why yeah. I was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they. They were. They were good because they, they. As you guys see, they put me in the middle. Mm -hmm. I was in the middle seat. What What so, does that mean? Uh, I think personally, I think. They always put like the prettiest girl in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just personally, I think. Okay, all right. Because that was that the camera direction is better. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. Did you guys? Do you? Did you guys still hang out afterwards? Uh, af after the show? Of course. Where did y'all go? Oh, you mean that day after the show? Yeah. Uh, well, I think yeah, we went to the team. Uh, usually, they have a team dinner after the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We went. We went to grab some food. Okay. All right. And then this time now, I think you stay, I think you stayed there. Uh, well, when it, you left, you, you were there from the eighth and you left Miami to go to New York. And then you went from New York to China on January the 10th. Right now, while you were there, he was still communicating to you. You guys were still talking. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, on the 30th, I still remember that day on 30th of December. He told me, that was at night at his place. He told me, I love you. I want you to be mine. You better don't be with anyone else. And he, we had a serious conversation. Yo, I didn't expect that. Did you tell him you loved him back? No. That was too, like true soul oh, for man. me. It's like, I just got, I just got, I'm getting to know you. Don't Did you? Me. Hold on, hold on. So this, this is kind of going against Daisy's narrative now. Let's think about it. So Daisy was acting like everything was different. Like, uh, like she was a different kind of thought, like, yeah, you can bust me and we can have baby within a week. How can you send up? Now you're sitting up talking about he said he loved you. You say it's too early for me to say love you. But you can say I have a baby with you in a week. Think about that. Does it, yeah, that don't make no sense. I mean, like I understand we're trying to bad mouth fresh and anything. But I mean, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Also, man, shout out to Milagros, man, for being a light enforcer, man. Go on, smash that like button for the algorithm, y'all. Keep me right. We got Croc the Indigo. He said, y'all the bad mouth and she's doing is basically revealing her true car. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, she, it's, it's that, yeah, because it's like, uh, it's like the more that we, I guess the more she talks, it's like the more we kind of get like a, uh, you know, what her actual attitude and everything is like, you know, like at first everybody was like thinking like, oh, you just this little dumb thought, like how, it's like the same way how we thought first was like, just like a little dumb retard. Like, it's like the same thing. Like we think, oh, you just a little dumb thought that, uh, you know, you 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 got that third world loyalty where you'll sit there and let Fresh bust on five other girls, and then you know, as long as he gets you an apartment, you'll shut the hell up and take care of the kids. And, you know, he can come bust on you whenever he get ready, as long as he's uh, you know, he's keeping apartment paid up. But it's you know, she's a she got a little bit more layers. 
to her. S on 29 say all this BS storm could have been avoided if water would act like a man, been humble and accepted his wrongdoing and take responsibility for her. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but he went crying to my Mar 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 I gotta go print my he was like, What what do you do, fresh? I, I gotta go print my I don't know what to do, my I gotta I gotta go print my what what I do? <laughs> he was like, the what do you what do you expect me to do, fresh? Slapped him up one good time, and you know, yeah, that boy, that boy, fresh was shooting that thing up. You think she capping? I don't know. That boy, baby, Apple coming up, Mariposa in this thing. We got, we got Mariposa in this thing. A racist Chinese accent. I mean, I mean, is is it is it racist if that's what it really sounds like? <laughs> I mean, that's what the, that's what the accent sounds like, right? Mark came with the fast though. Clearly, this is a money move. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's not a money move. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's what. I, I still think that Fresh and them are stupid. That's not what the IGB is saying. Him saying he loves her after a month. She's just guilty. Oh, up oh, the deep. Hey man, the deep always got the receipts too. Man, you can't be playing around. Marquis glazing hard. Marquis be glazing. When it comes to Fresh and Fit, Marquis is the top glazer. He's one of the top. What I think it was M for your mom that came for him one time and said he had some <laughs> he had some bust on his shirt. <laughs> oh man. Probably then they'll say exactly how girls play these dangerous games like an equal to a man, but when it's just a fan, they're a victim. Mm. It's tough out here. When well, most girls get pregnant, they scared and shame to tell the world. Mm. I mean, are they? I don't know. She knew Walter was a qualist. <laughs> That boy was a lick. Like I said, accountability tube isn't doing anything to affect F and F. Remember that during the Avenue Preach versus F and F one, they lost subs and hit point and K twice. They haven't lost any subs after that. Any of these recent scams. That's crazy, man. Like they they really have it. What's going on, Win Loser Up? Good to see you in here, man. S twenty nine nine say Mar can't handle a manager situation. I guess a lot of shootouts and people jumping off ledges during his fair years. Ooh. Hey, that's hey, that's real. Like, like you could you couldn't really get my like. Imagine somebody about to do a suicide jump, and then they be like, "Yeah, call Mari." <laughs> yeah, that person's going. That person's going. Like, all right, what would Mari say to that person? Think about it. Like, Mari would be like, "You're a loser. No wonder you're up here. You're a loser. You get your money right. Get your body right. Stop being a fucking simp." And then the dude just jumped. Did you fall for that when he said, I love you? I mean, because no. by the way, by then he has spent $20,000. So of course he's going to tell you he love you. Huh? I, I, I'm not, because I'm not this, I never said I'm naive. And a guy tells me he loves me literally meeting for a few days later. You know, I would never believe in that. But he always like testing me, asking me a bunch of questions. He even marriage. How do I think about marriage? These are the kind of, kind of in a normal relationship or early day dating relationship, you don't talk about this. This is kind of like too serious, you know. So well, what started... was going through your head when he was talking about marriage? You're right, that is too serious. Yeah, so so nothing that she so so this is this is contradicting her whole her whole like special ed third world Asian girl that doesn't know anything about the Western world. When she's talking about the whole, yeah. Uh, we, we can have a baby. We can have a baby in a week. I don't care about the week. I love you. We have a baby. Like, like now you're sitting there like, yeah, I'm a tough woman. I don't be goddamn saying I love you until goddamn you you drop goddamn 30, 30 K solid on me without without me having to pay half. And then you, uh, I don't know, like, yeah. It's, it's going against the grain for me. Let's get it. Soon. But I was thinking maybe this guy, you know, since he... Every, he's from his move and actions and everything, you know. I, I was thinking, maybe have you ever had a guy do that to you before? Of course, okay, girl, you go ahead with your bad stuff, all right. <laughs> wow, okay, and you well, and you take them seriously <laughs> when they say, I'm, I, I'm, I'm looking for marriage and let's get a house and I love you so soon. No, they do that to me. No, that's the conversation after we were in a relationship. Oh man, maximum power. We had we had some uh we had some some situations going on, man. And it, it, it wasn't like uh I don't know. I guess I don't know. It was it was the I feel like it was more the parentals than anything, man, that, that caused the rift between us. But uh, it's definitely a few other things that happened that uh I would say I would say more is, is more parentals situations. So you know, those folks they kind they would they probably kind of disown you and all that because you know you're dealing with a black dude. So I don't know. 
That's just my thoughts on that. I don't know. That, and I might be acting like mine a little bit. I, I'm looking at this from a different lens than how everybody else is looking at it because I've had like a, a similar situation with that. But I don't know. My situation was different from this. It was more responsible. Let's get it. Okay. The, the buying house and all that kind of stuff, that was like literally last month. He said that last month. Oh, and okay. Ah. And before that, we were in a relationship. He he posted <clears> me <throat> and he even posted my pictures on Instagram as he, you know, he barely posts like a couple pictures on Instagram. He doesn't even follow any girls. Mm -hmm. And he was referring <laughs> to you as his girlfriend and text and everything like that. And then, of course... There's a video that Abba and Priest like to show where you two are sitting in the car and then he says, I woo woo, I woo woo. And then he says, No, I'm sorry, I love you, babe, and you kiss and everything like that. When was that video shot? Before I went back to China. For the second time? Okay. Yes. All right. But before I went back to China, we were pretty like exposed and we also had like a very serious conversation. Hey. What's going on, BB? I, I I seen you, but I didn't say what's up to you, man. Yeah, and I don't know, man. That, that's a question. That's a question of the uh that's so far the question of the year, man. We we don't know that. We you know I'm I'm not sure. I would I would lean towards yeah maybe 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 because he he does a lot of things that are very suspectual out here in these streets, man. Also, the deep comes through with a blammer. He says, side note, the nerd gummy clusters are the ish. Y'all go pick some up. They are indeed the ish. I had a, I had some the other day, but they are wildly unhealthy for you if you look at the ingredients and you can just taste the unhealth. When you bite into them, it's like, oh, damn, that shit got down. That shit, all that sugar got down, got into my my uh, my intestines and all. It's it's yeah, but them things is good though. Them things is real good, man. Let's get it. The night before I went back to, I was going to get my flight back to New York and from New York to China. So in the car, he was describing how he get from zero to here. And how much properties he has and all that kind of stuff. Oh, by the way, one important thing is that night the conversation went very deep. He asked me, because I always told him I want to invest in real estate. So he said, first he introduced himself. Then he was like, I can help you. And he also he asked a very weird kind of question. He said, How much money do you have? Ooh. I was like, why do you ask me that? Okay, that's a very weird question. Yeah, that's so very he, weird. He just said he want to help me to invest in real estate. And also, he asked me what I want to do when I come back to Miami. I said I was going to, you know, you know come back and, like, you know, just to see, maybe start some business, you know, stuff like that. So, basically, we had a serious conversation about our plan. Mm -hmm. This is not something that you don't, you don't want, you, you want to talk about with someone that you don't even want to be serious with. Gosh, man, I I don't know. I mean, I know you took them seriously, but to to I, first of all to do all this I love you stuff, and then talk about let's get a house, and then you know actually showing you off to his friends on Instagram, and literally vlogging about you and stuff like that. To me, it, I, I don't know. It's you, he, you guys were already having sex, so he couldn't have been doing it for that. Maybe I don't know. I could be naive, and you can correct me. But do you think at first he was into you at you know really serious, or do you think it all was an act? I think, I think he just played me. You know why? Why? Because I judge by how he dumped me. It went very bad, and that's why I hate him so much. Okay. And also, and also, he got me pregnant. How he's so irresponsible. The way he asked me to leave to New York was very bad. He doesn't come home. Doesn't pick up my. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Hold on. Push me. Before we get to that, because I got to talk about Barbados. Hold on, we're gonna get to the part where he do the dumping. I got to talk about Barbados. I know, I know this upset you, but let let's. Let's talk about where you left to go from uh, Miami to, I mean, from Miami to New York, from New York to London. I mean, sorry, from New York to China. And then while you guys were there, while you was in China, you two were staying and uh, every, day. every day, every day you would text? Yes, every day. Okay, every day. Video calls. Now, during this time, Valentine's Day run on there. So what happened? Like, did he send you a new bracelet on Valentine's Day since since you two are girlfriend, boyfriend now? <laughs> no, he went on silence. He what? He went on silence on Valentine's Day. Mm. He didn't wish you happy Valentine's Day at all? No, he said happy Valentine's Day. And that's all. That is all. That's all. The whole conversation, the whole day. Usually we talk a lot. That Wait a minute. He <clears throat> he told you he loved you in December, loved you in, in January. Oh, I do my girl. Don't be with no other man. You know what I'm saying? I, you, you're mine, blah, blah, blah. 
but all he does on Valentine's Day is say happy Valentine's Day right. and just disappear. Right. Does that sound like a high value man, girl? I mean, come on now. I mean, he was in London on business trip. So, you know, I was, uh, that was Chinese New Year. So I got really pissed, but I still wanted to see what he says. If he's in London on a business trip and he sends you happy Valentine's Day, but he's not just running around here sitting and talking to you, how can you expect that? That's that sounds kind of silly. Like, I mean, I'm not I'm not capable for fresh enough, but if you're on London, I mean, like he could probably call you at the end of the day, but I mean it would be a short call. He's in the London on a business trip on a whole other time zone. What do you expect from the man? He ain't he ain't no goddamn superman or nothing like that. But I don't know, that's just how women are. They silly to me. Master of Power say the date an Asian girl again. No, nah, they no Asian girl again. I'm going I'm going for the blacks. <laughs> I hate to sound cool with that. Yeah, I want I want uh, I want light skin caramel chocolate. That's what I want. I, yeah. Yeah, I ain't going for that again unless she hella a warm and I ain't going that route. I, I done learned my lesson out here in the streets. I done learned my lesson. But uh yeah, I don't know. S M twenty nine like I just does Myron like the planet seed and the other melon pack? He <laughs> I feel like after them uh and, and and that video, you remember that video I did where like the you know the gay accusations were coming out like like he actually gave me a bullying strike for that. So I feel like that might have hit him. That might have hit a nerve. So I think he might have actually, you know, he might have actually been out here, you know, secret, secretly getting his boozy popped over. Who knows? Like I was like, no one is for days of issues that FNF don't do what they preach and they are not honest about it fast. Bro, I can't wrap my head around this. If she was black, this many people be making excuses for her nonsense. Yeah, and there's so much nonsense in what Daisy's saying, to be honest. There's so much nonsense. Oh, Tyler May said so he's supposed to send her a gift. I mean, but he's in London. Well, I guess he should have already had that planned out, huh? I mean, but I don't know. But he he already gave her gifts. So he, he figured, I'll, I'll give you the $15,000 prison. <laughs> this is BS. I guess you may have a reason to be upset, but it's sitting up here. Yeah. I, and I don't really know why you would sit up here with Tree of Life of all people. Like, like yeah. I want to see what my, what MS said next time a woman come up pregnant. If Fresh of Myron ain't involved, it won't be all this love going on. And that's facts. Like, because. Think about like y'all remember when uh when Amara got the girl pregnant. I think the only people that interviewed her was Authentic Alpha. And that was kind of it, wasn't it? I think everybody else was kind of grilling her. It it wasn't it wasn't the same love. I'll say, it wasn't the same love. It wasn't the same love. That's all I'll say. BB and I, I was just talking about uh I was talking about like now nah, I'm not dating I'm not dating outside no more. I ain't dating no uh, no white girl no Asian girl no uh, none of that other stuff. I won't. Light skin caramel chocolate. That's what I like. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I, I mean, I tell you, Latina probably the best, the next best thing. But I mean, even they still be having some haterade too. But I mean, yeah, finance, yeah, finance man. He hit me with a bullying strike, bro. He hit me with a cyber bullying strike for real. Yeah, the, hey, Daisy said, Myron and Angie having. A, yeah, that's hey. So that to me, I feel like. I don't know. We could take that two ways. Either Myron is using her as a beard, and he is really out here gay, or Myron has bust her so many times, or maybe she was just so boring that he ain't coming back for more, and now he wants to go bust other thoughts. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Tree, tree is fake AF. I agree. I agree, finance man. Tree is fake AF. Not then going to say they going to say, Tree was playing Savior during that Destiny Rose. And yeah, she was, wasn't she? You remember that? Like, she was all talking to her all nice. Like, like when you get in trouble at, at school or something, and you got that one teacher that come in that's really rocking with you, be like, I know you didn't do it because you're always so quiet. There's no way that you did it. There's no way. But let's keep going. And then he called me the next day. He said, how was your Valentine's Day? I'm like, shit, very shit, because I'm single. He said, why? I said, because I'm single, Valentine's Day, I'm single. I don't re receive no flowers. Um, not even an e-card. <laughs> yeah, not, not a phone call from my phone. Right, so, I'm, I'm single, so you're single, I'm single. Great. Good for us. Then he, he, he noticed. Oh, he started explaining, you know, I was busy and uh, I'm not in China. I don't know how to do stuff. He said, I got us planned in Barbados. And, you know, he asked me how much to take it. He oh! Said, and then later on, he got the table. <laughs> That's where the... Those things come from because no, no, we talked about the Barbados <laughs> before. Ah, oh, 
So yeah. he offered to to buy you a ticket to Barbados to make up for the fact that he didn't get you anything for Valentine's Day. That's what I think. And that's what I thought. Okay. So, but uh, hold on. I got, I got your tickets here. I want to show you guys something like, now I thought this was funny when you explained this to, to me, like, let me, let me just show you something like, this is the, this is the ticket that you went from China to London. Right. And then this yeah. is, this is the ticket where you went from Barbados to um, you went from London to Barbados, right? He paid for this ticket. Now, did he pay first class economy or business class? So I paid my own ticket to London and then he bought a business class from London to Barbados. Okay, all right. And so when you when you got to Barbados, uh, what happened? Tell me about Barbados. It was cool, you know, very beautiful country, never been to Caribbean. He took me <laughs> uh, to see um, all his friends, went to party. <laughs> And then uh, visit his house where he, where he grew up. And also he got a lot of stuff and he took me to, because he know I like to play golf. He took me to the golf course. Also like a boat. Man, that red lipstick ain't it. These goddamn Egyptian uh, corners ain't it. The eyebrows, the eyelashes ain't it. The neck ain't it. The, the chin recessed jawline ain't it. It's a lot of ain't it. But let's go. Um, boat trip with his friends from childhood. And then we visit his grandmother and also his auntie, basically everybody. So you met the mama, you met the auntie. That's you met... the second time I met his mom. Okay, that's the second time you met his mom. Okay, so you met his mama again for the second time. You met his grandmama, you met his auntie, and you met his friends. Right. You ain't meet no daddy? No, no, no daddy. What about some uncles? No, oh, they're all single, single women, grandmother, um, auntie. No, so you mama. mean, so, so, okay. This is woman to woman, woman to woman here. You go to Barbados and you see that this man has been raised by nothing but women. How do you think he would be? How do you know he could be a, a good man? He doesn't know how to be a good man. Women cannot teach little boys how to be men. So he had no male father figures in his life. So that means he's going to suck at being a father himself, as we can see what he has done to you. And also the fact that he would he would make a terrible uh, boyfriend or even a husband, because how would he know he hasn't learned it from his mama or his grandma or anybody? Well, you know, for some people, they don't want to talk about their family. Maybe something happened to his mom. You know, maybe his dad was treating his mom bad. So I never asked because I just know they're all single. You don't so have to ask, though. You could just, no, no, no. You could just observe. Uh, I, I can appreciate her for not uh, for not trying to down fresh further like Tree is. Tree trying to keep that little narrative. The, the, the single moms of black men, don't they don't do their job. Shout out to Maximus Power, man. Y'all going to get them lights up, man. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, but what do you guys think about that? Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of nice for uh for for uh, Daisy to kind of do that a little bit at least. Yeah, at least you at least you didn't sit there and let him just just crush uh just crush Fresh's dad situation and all that. I swear this corner host is too busy trying to be the next Wendy Williams. Or her, yeah, right. Her anti-black male. Yeah, she and then does she even have kids? I wonder does she have kids? She be a horrible mom. I think I think do some my second girlfriend to my mom. She told me stop bringing the girl. <laughs> Oh man, mom just kept it real with you. <laughs> That's crazy work. Mom kept it real with you. Red one that's what's going on. He said Ron Fresh, she on Blitz Press Tour. Facts. She on that Blitz Press Tour. GP ain't say can't say women can't raise men, but father can't raise women. Men who are raised by women tend to understand more about women because they've been around different types for the most part. Yeah, I agree with that. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and it's not like they're teaching you how to like. I don't think they're teaching you how to deal with a man properly either. So I mean, it's just all around. You know, you, I feel like you might you need the uh, what they say the nuclear family on fresh and fit. You need the nuclear family. There's no matter where you, you don't matter. They can't talk about females' room temperature IQ when fresh is on the show. Facts, no way. There's no way you can do that when fresh is on the show. Fresh is if, if fresh steps in the room, he's automatically got the, the lowest IQ. Period. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, Marquis, she's definitely a divestor. Vanessa Milan say, <laughs> she said, point blank period, Mars gay. Fuck out of here. Jay the foreman said, y'all keep talking about just tree. And that husband of hers will read it. Ooh. You, hey, Jay the foreman hit us with a Democrat uh, warning style. You you know they're going to they're gonna bring slavery back. You better stop it. Her. It's not about asking. You just you can observe a pattern. You can just observe. Oh, there's no dad here. There's no uncles here. There's no father figures here to, to that. And he never talks yeah, about yeah, any bro. father figures wow. here. And that's I'm just saying I'm just saying for future reference here. Right. You should be thinking in your head. 
How does he know how to be a man? Who taught him how to be a man? Here's a man who doesn't know how to be a man teaching other men how to be men. How the hell would he know? He's on a freaking podcast trying to tell men how to deal with women, how to be how to be a so-called man, a high value man. This guy's not a high value man. My question is, how does he know how to be a man when he was never raised or helped by one? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I don't know. I just thought maybe something went on halfway. They, they divorced or something. It's like, if he doesn't want to talk about it, I don't want to ask him, make him feel upset. You know, like I grew up in the same I don't judge people by how they grow up. But you grew up, you was with your dad though. And but I'm, I'm raised well. I'm, I have good manners. But, so I understand. But I don't that's China. Me. That's China, Daisy. We here in America, honey. I know. I know. I know. It's it's frustrating. But welcome to America. This is the games that they play here. And I'm like, I want women to learn from your mistakes. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes we have to we have to be a little bit more judgmental. I'm I'm not saying you have to ask. As a matter of fact, absolutely not ask him. You know, where's your man help raise you? I keep seeing all these women. These single women have been raising you. You know what I'm saying? And I mean. I mean, Daisy got raised by a single woman too, and that's how she learned how to do to put that third world poise on fresh. And now she's doing a press tour. She put that third world poise on her, goddamn. Yeah, Marquis, Marquis said fresh is a good dude because he chilled and talked to them for 30 minutes. Fresh is a retard. Fresh is one of the people that just, he'll take anybody talking to him. Fresh is like, so we got a, we got a fuse fresh with like an old person who has nobody. Like around his age or anything, no more. He ain't got no more family, no more. So he don't care. He like whoever talked to him, he'll talk to him. And then you have to also use the fact that Fresh is a low IQ retard. So you know he's just he's just talking to anybody. I'm not giving Fresh that. I don't think Fresh is a good dude. He's not a good dude. Facts. He's not a good dude. B being say Tree definitely hates blacks. Facts. She definitely hates him. Some women leave. Yeah, some of them do leave. But yeah. It's tough out here in these streets. Well, Lou Rose says she makes a good point. You let a man skid up in you without knowing if she would be there when it's time to man up. And now they're both upset. Yeah, that's crazy. Crazy work. Crazy work. Yeah, she's definitely Steve from Django. And I hated that interview she did with uh with uh Jared Taylor. It was it was so lame. Like like uh what's the name? Uh Blacklight C sent it to me and it was just like it was cringe from beginning to end. What's going on, Promise? So they say you saying fresh can actually talk. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, how was that conversation, Marquise? Marquise, how was that conversation? So you and Fresh were sitting up there stuttering and spitting at each other for 30 minutes. How did that work? Because you said you can't talk either. Let's go. I would never ask that because it would show that you observe the fact that, hey, you know, this man doesn't have any father figures in his life. So how the hell can he learn how to be a father to your child, let alone a good husband or 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 a wife? But OK, anyway, I know this makes you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I just had to put that out there because I don't like none of these guys. They're all hypocrites. They're fraudulent. <laughs> and I think this is a good way of exposing them even more, because when I saw that picture. Yeah. What did y'all even talk about, Marquise? We want to know what y'all have been talking about. You, so you came up and you was like, hey, fresh man, watch your show, man. And yeah, I like your show, fresh. And then he's like, oh, 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 who you? He, he he said, "Who who are you?" <laughs> He's like, "I uh, I I'm a long time supporter of the Fresh and Fit show." And he said, "Uh, so you guys uh you guys watch the show, and uh, what do you what do you see on the show?" <laughs> and then Mark he's like, "Well, yeah, you put those three or four, three or fours in their place. Yeah, man, I just love how you and Mark do it. Yeah." <laughs> and Mark and, and uh and Mark he's, he, his pants was getting sweaty and all that because <laughs> he was talking to Fresh. And then Fresh was like, oh, uh, uh, duh, okay. And y'all just kept on talking back and forth like, duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> they, was, <laughs> they was staring at each other for 30 minutes. <laughs> there was slobber coming out their mouth. <laughs> Them boys had slobber coming out their mouth, staring at each other for 30 minutes on, uh, on what's the Ocean Drive. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Marquis say I'm from Miami in a bit time. That's how I know Abram preach out welcome to Miami. Man, man, Miami's Miami's not like that to the point where you can't just come you can't come to the to the to the city no more though. It's not like that. I mean I, I can see what what's what, what they going to Opalaka or something like that or what you what, what you uh where you from Carroll City or Liberty City or whatever. They ain't going there. So I mean they they, they I'm pretty sure they're welcome in like the nice white areas. Or the nice, uh, you know, areas where everybody's like all together, mixing, the, mixing and matching. SM29 said, "I would pay to see that conversation." A thick accent with low English proficiency, me stuttering. Th 
<laughs> hey, bro, I'll, I'll stick with Washington. If, if Marquise had live streaming that conversation, I would sit there and watch it and analyze it for a clean 30 minutes. Now, it'll be an hour because, you know, we got we to talk about it and say what they did there. Yeah, hey, hey, Black Light, I don't know where Cephas is. He was he popped in last time, but he ain't popped in this time. Yesterday on Duke and Don's chat, he was going hard. He was going hard, man. I seen him every other uh I seen him every other other thing, every other comment rather. It went lose Russ. <laughs> hey, that's the question. That's the that's the main question. Did you uh did you did you ask him about them thousand bodies, bro? And did y'all compare notes? Be like, yeah, every hole's a goal. Promise they, they look longer. <laughs> oh, they look. Oh man, yeah. Cephas and Hello One. I ain't seen Hello Ones throughout this whole saga. That's crazy work. I ain't seen them throughout this whole saga, man. Got to check in with Marquise. Ooh, you do got. You got to check in with Marquise or it's over with, man. Check in with Marquise. If he find you, just you just roaming the beach. You think everything's cool, Marquise? Just, just ambush you out of nowhere. Just tackle you. Ugh. I ain't going behind fresh, but I see. <laughs> hey, that's facts, bro. That's facts. I agree with that. Like, like, there's no way I can go behind, behind fresh ever, ever. I don't like. Like, she gonna need a clean like eight months. I'm just gonna just throw an arbitrary number out there. Eight months of cleanliness before I before I even decide I'm gonna do something to it. Marquise is definitely running Florida. Promise, study. He's definitely running Florida. Marquise say, Nah, Miami small. Remember when they banned the baby? No. I don't remember that. They banned they banned the baby? I don't remember that at all. I don't know about all that. Fresh and severe, what you got to say? Because I know you from there too. I know you from there too. Like fresh and fit connected in the street like that. Like that's why they just spent a rapper. Cause I, yeah. Let's keep going. Cause I think she's saying something about feeling endangered. Let's go. Where was that picture taken where it's you, his his mama with a blue uh, dress on, and him? We went out for dinner. Okay. All right. And and uh, so, you know, when did you know you was gonna meet you? You knew you was gonna meet the mama. So all right, everybody, let's go and remember this now. Marquis had a thousand bodies ain't that hard. I did that at Florida State University. Now, I mean, we know he's he's doing a little bit of uh, you know, extra, but still, let's remember this because let's remember this. Marquis has his own channel. You guys can can decide. You know, you can you can watch his content, check out him. And see if uh, you know you be the judge and be like, hey man, hey man, Mark, he might have really had that thousand got now. <laughs> he might have really had that got that, that got down thousand. Or you could be like, nah, there's no way. <laughs> you just go ahead and decide, man. Y'all go check out Marquis Chump. Yeah, Marquis, I was in Miami last month. Where you at? Ooh, ooh, he pulled your card, Marquis. Pulled your card on you. Why is Mars so hyper protective? Yeah, yeah, Mars hyper protective of all the wrong people. He's uh, yeah. Oh, they banned El the baby because of the LG TV stuff. He got counted. That don't even sound realistic. So, so Marquis, that ain't even cool then. So they, so they banned the baby because of LG TV stuff. That doesn't make so. So you're saying, so you're saying Miami so hard they banned people. You can't come to Miami, but they banned him for LG TV stuff. So it sound like y'all ran by the LG TVs. That that don't sound like y'all ran by somebody that's like, oh he, oh oh, it's tough right now. That shit tough right now. I don't know about all that now. I don't know about all that, but let's get it. So, so basically, isn't it a custom to gift uh, the mother uh, if because you saw, thought that this was going to be serious? Because normally men only introduce women to their mothers when it's serious. So, tell me about that experience. Well, I actually planned a lot, uh, even about the first, like the, the gift wise. You know, I did a lot of research and I went to many shops. You know, trying to. To get some stuff for the second time meeting, so I bought a get a, a scarf because his mom is about to go go on a cruise trip. So I was like, getting her a scarf might be good, you know, just to. Oh, cover. nice! I, I know you got good taste. How much was? The, I'm just sorry. I just had to ask. How much was the scarf? <laughs> like five hundred dollars. Okay, five hundred dollars. Got it. All right. <clears throat> okay, so here's another thing too. I I think, and I'm just being I'm just being honest. <clears throat> I think that the one of the reasons why. Uh, so quick to bring you and show you off is because you know you are you are aware of how beautiful you look and i think this was a way to say hey look at what i have <clears throat> look at how i came up look at look at what i got i got this dime piece here you know saying it was a way to show you off in my opinion he got everything he got from you and he just threw you away you know saying because now a lot of my question is so was fresh not getting any any uh 
any any fine any other fine women? Like, was he not getting no no women that was looking good? And, and now he's looking at at Daisy like, oh yeah, this is different. This is different. I I I I I must keep her. Like, I don't get it. So that so that so like, imagine you getting to a point where you feel like, oh yeah, now I'm kind of got them inevitable like Thanos, and you still can't get the girls you want. Imagine that. Like, you know, you're sitting here. You know, you you, you uh you know you one day you you're sleeping on the floor at your mama house. You ain't got no money, you know. You like, you like, man. That's why I ain't got no girls. I ain't got no money. I'm sleeping on the floor of my mom's house, goddamn. I ain't got no muscles. But then you get all that stuff, you get all the clout, and then you can't even get no girls that you want. And then when you get one girl, you're still acting like a, a elite simp, serial simp to spending 15k on a bracelet, and then get her to meet your mom in two days' time. And the only way you can even get her to look at you and, and take a, a chance on you is bring her to the yacht. So, I mean, that's that's tough right there. That's real tough. Let's get it. People in Barbados don't know that you guys have broken up unless they keep up with the with the with the drama here. But, you know, taking you to all his childhood friends to the cookout and this, that, and the other it's a small island. I'm sure it's a, a small group of people. It was just a way of just showing. I'm sure his friends were so impressed to see you on his arm and say, did, wait a minute. Well, I'm just assuming did he introduce you as his girlfriend to his friend in Barbados. Of course. <laughs> so that's the reason why you thought this was serious. OK. All right. So you guys, I'm sorry, anything else you have to say about that? Because we now want to go to Miami. And this is when things start going downhill. So, um, yeah. So when you go to when you come back to Miami, uh, I think that's what that was on March the 12th. Right. Yeah. OK. And uh, oh, hold on. I got that. I want to show everybody. Now, this is the part that that made me laugh. Right. So you guys see this is the Barbados ticket. This is the ticket from London to Barbados. And uh, this was business class. But guess what? When they had to go back to Miami, they flew economy. <laughs> how did, how, how, wait a minute. I thought he's supposed to be a high value man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going economy now? So yeah. so, so, how did you feel about uh, going from, you know, flying economy? I thought, you know, money wasn't a big deal for him. You know what I'm saying? For a, he, told me he, he never, he never fly business. But I told the reason why he bought me a business because he knows I fly business all the time. But I wait a minute. So... So why, why not? Hold on, hold that thought. If he, first of all, I don't believe that. He said he never fly business. He never flies first class. He only no, he flies economy. That, yeah, he said he, he'd rather enjoy his money on something else. Because I was shocked in the airport. I'm like, aren't we fly business? He's like, no, uh, we're on economy. I'm like, why? He's like, uh, I don't fly business. Okay. That was still fine for me, you know. Still fine. He was like, okay. Girl, you're so patient. All right. Um, I would that right there. It's, there's so many red flags that you just let go. Cause if, if you, if you, if he knows that you like to fly business, okay, then he should have gave you, brought you a business class and he stays in a cheap seat of economy. All right. I'm just, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. I'm, I'm too tall to be an economy. That's my thing. I'm too tall to be an economy. So that's why I'm, I'm like, you know, he could have definitely uh, uh, put you in, in, uh, in, a, in business class, but okay. Nothing wrong with it. Now, 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 I, I have a question. This is when I'm a little. When does his mom? Does his mama eventually come? She didn't come with you guys back to Miami, or did she come? She did. No. Okay. No, no, she, she didn't. She came back. She came to Miami around March 20. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then what happened? Yeah, that's interesting. Like she just talking about she just she's just flying business at all points in time whenever she takes a flight. Yeah, and now she's expecting. I don't know. Let's get it. Trees are sorry ass. Then, um, so he was, you know, you know, my man is working, so I want him to be sh just to be sure he doesn't have to worry about us. I took his mom for dinner, and you know, <laughs> and the next day took her shopping. We had a girl's day, and also the first time I bought his mom the Hermes uh, sandals, it didn't it didn't fit, so I took her again. She went to pick another right. Hermes sandal. And, and you you spent all this money on his on his mama because. When I'm fully like in love with someone, I want him to feel like I want your mom to have the best thing, you know, because he's a man. He doesn't know how to treat or women, women or like he doesn't know how to get women. Hold on. But let's think about the timeline. When, when he's saying like he loved her and she wasn't saying she loved him. But then he brought her to her mom, to, yeah, to his mom, like in a quick manner. Like wasn't that kind of short, like within two days or something like that. And then she was like, yeah, when I left somebody, I do not want them to. I want to show their mom I love them, too. I don't know. I'm, I'm not understanding. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing up the times or something like that, but I don't know. Because he, he took her, he took her, he took her uh to meet his mom rather quickly. 
And now suddenly she's in love with him and wants to love on his mom as well by her gifts. Stuff, but I know what women like. And his mom, mother clearly like interested in that. Because when I said, let's go for a girl's day, she was so excited. And, Aww. you know, I just want him, I just want to make her happy, you know. Okay. Um, all right. So how much okay. did all that cost that you spent oh, out of your money on his mom? Oh, uh, it was like not that much. It was like 500 for the sandals and the perfume. And okay. Like all right. All right. Okay. Now here's where things uh, start to go. I don't, I don't think it would start going bad, but I, this is something I saw you say on your Instagram live. You said that, uh, you were staying at home. You was taking care of his mom. You was cleaning. You was cooking, and you were also concerned about his own health because you know he's overweight. He's been complaining about being fat, and so you purchased <laughs> him some supplements and protein shake. And what what else were you buying to help him? Tell me about the whole fat lo weight loss journey that you try to help him with. Because he always comp complain about his uh, his his belly, you know. So I see the issue where where the problem. You know, is because he, he doesn't train properly. He doesn't eat properly. So I will always tell him to watch out what he eat. You know, uh, what does he eat? I mean, what is he what is he eating to get fat like that? He he likes <laughs> he likes to eat out and and you know like just a bunch of stuff and he loves sweet ice cream and cakes and like high calorie stuff. I always tell him to watch out what he eat. You know, I always take away the, the actual sauce. And then I got him, so, you know, what? protein bar, protein shake. Instead of getting that kind of uh, unhealthy junk food, also got him a lot of supplements for like liver detox and all kind of multivitamins. Because I know how to, you know, get into a, a diet. So I was trying to help him. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly, clearly, he doesn't care. Like as they said, uh, they're seeing a traditional woman. I, I mean, obviously, I take all the boxes. You know, is that why you? Because I'm looking at. Parties, know what he what else he want more no <clears throat> did he take the supplements no he can't sw swallow pills <laughs> he can't swallow pills what he doesn't know how he's never swallowed pills ever never so fresh is like a little kid i, I, I can't swallow pills i, I can't swallow i can't swallow pills. please daisy, daisy please don't put a pill in my please daisy, don't put a pill in my mouth i can't swallow it but then that but she was sitting there trying to cook for that boy fresh and Trying to get him right, <laughs> and he could he couldn't swallow up. He couldn't swallow up. He would, but then he would get in shape. Yeah, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a child. Arthur Wall, what's going on, man? Like a child. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't get people that like they. I feel like not taking pills is like it's just a mental thing. Like like I feel like if you have to take it, you just gotta take it, bro. Like what are you supposed to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, bro. <problem. laughs> problem was saying he can't swallow pills. What is this, a Gen Z kid? <laughs> Fresh is like a five year old, for real. He run around on the Flintstone vitamins, man. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he swallowing my man. <laughs> It's definitely a mental thing. It's definitely a mental thing. What's going on? But it's it's definitely a mental thing for real. Like I feel like if uh, I don't know, I feel like you just have to just you have to get past that mental block. Like you, just, I don't know. Like a lot of like, and then there's there's certain things that like the pills are big, like that like that wellness formula. Anybody anybody ever took that wellness formula? It's like uh, it's like these big old pills. They like mixed with garlic and all different kind of little vitamins, like zinc and all that, and it's big. But uh, yeah, you just gotta take them if you want to keep your immune system up and healthy. <laughs> mama, help, 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 mama! I, I can't swallow, mama. <laughs> that boy fresh. She got. She had that boy fresh out, and she was cooking for him. She was trying to get him some pills, and he just didn't want to take it. I'm not gonna lie. Like when it comes to like eating healthy, I feel like other people don't. They can't cook the right amounts that I feel like will be perfect for me. Like. I don't know, like I feel like they're gonna be trying to cook too much and so I don't know. Everybody got their own way of doing it. For me, it just it's different. I don't know, but let's get it. But I was shocked when all these supplements came and I you know, I took all the supplements, tried to feed him, you know. He was like, Wait, I can't swallow pills. I'm like, Why didn't you tell me earlier? I told you I'm getting you supplements. Right. But that's not important though. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, well I, if he says so, okay. <clears throat> okay, well, what about the protein bars? I'm sure he could swallow that. 
Yeah, yeah. he did have a uh, that. Okay. But let's keep that. It's not important. Okay. And then uh, the training. So you try to help him train in the gym? Yeah. He, he won't let me though. Why? You, you, you're you a certified personal trainer. Why? Oh, because you're a female? I think he was just kind of kind of embarrassed letting a woman train him. And he felt he thinks he's too confident in that. He thinks he's doing good. Okay. But I see what he's doing in the gym. Marquise came through. Let's see. Marquise came through with the five dollars. He said at the end of the day, fresh and fit were right. He tried talking fresh, but let him smash on repeat. All these girls want his money. How do y'all feel about what Marquise said? How do y'all feel about it? <laughs> yep. You say, <laughs> hold on. You say, are you saying Asian people can't season their food fresh? <laughs> oh man. Finance man said he won't let a female tra train him. Ah. Uh yeah, I, I kind of can understand. Like, I, I think it's just it's different. It depends on what what are we training for, and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I mean, I don't know. To a degree, if it, if if I'm on a level of fresh, and then there's a, somebody that's on a level of Daisy who's like a, a a figure competitor, and I look like fresh, then I probably would let somebody train me because I I'm like the lowest rung of man. But if I'm me, and then Daisy's like, yeah, I'm gonna train. No, get out of here, bro. And, and a lot of times, like, you know, you, you'll you take a girl, like, like a girl will be like, yeah, I'll be working out, I'll be working out. And then and then you be like, okay, let's work out. And then, and then you be like, oh, yeah, go, go on, show me what you had to work out. And then you start doing a workout with them. It's all super easy. You ain't getting no burn. You feel like you just kind of just like you went for a brisk walk. So I don't really, yeah, I just don't really like working out with girls. I feel like it's, it's way different. They, I don't know. Some girls can keep up, but it's rare that they can keep up, like especially when it comes to running. It's horrible running, boxing, really, really weights too. I mean, you got to keep on switching the weights out and all that. And I don't like doing that slow control stuff either. But like I say, not one Asian platformer is giving Daisy the time of day. No article in Net Shot, no China Mat interview. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't. Yeah, we're talking about that business and all that economy and stuff, acting like he still didn't pay for an expensive flight. I agree. I don't see any other goal of this meal campaign fast. Eating healthy is hard because I have time because I because the time I have to, uh, to have, yeah, that's that's true. But if you consistent training that really helps just portion control, intermittent fasting. Yeah, that's kind of all you can do. You, I think intermittent fasting is probably your best bet if you if you're cooking, if you you know, if you're like too busy at your at your job and you can't really cook the way you want. Young class at what's going on, you say, wait, that's why his name's fit, because he <laughs> Yeah, that boy, that boy's stupid. Promise that she take the money. Well, I'm in need. Let's see. Tell us as we're hearing, Daisy cared about his health, and he's. In, I think that I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Young Class, they both snakes. That's what I think. That's what I think. Finance men say, "Why would an Asian platform give her the time of day?" Only Black people believe this BS. Ooh, ooh. You say we need to get focused. We need to get focused. Oh man, where I'm at? Oh, I'm up here. Future, like planning a long term. I don't think think getting another apartment for you is better. You should just stay with me. I actually don't mind you staying with me. He said, I actually enjoy staying with you. He said that. Yeah, he said, and what what do you, what if you get pregnant? He said, and don't you think a bigger house for you and the baby is better? Really? Yeah. So I kind of feel that kind of off, you know, because why would you promise something and don't do it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so, okay. So where did it stop? So when did it go from him wanting you guys to be in an apartment to babe, you need to move out? After that conversation, I felt something's off. And then the next day or two days later, I think the next day he completely changed. He was like, Oh wait, I actually asked him. How about you do the, you sign the lease and I'll pay for myself? And then he denied it. Like he refused it. He refused it. He, so oh, oh, like, oh, oh, oh. he refused what? What do you mean? He, ref he refused? He refused to sign the lease, the leaseman, sublease for me. Okay. Because I couldn't sign a sublease. Right, because yeah. you're not a United States okay. citizen and you don't right. have proof of income and this, that, and other. Yeah. Right. He ha it has to be <laughs> under his name. Then I was going to pay for it. You was going to pay for it all? Right. Oh, okay. All right. Just because how much I wanted to stay with him. I offered that and he was like, no. He's like, it was something was off. He was like, maybe you should go to New York. 
he said, I, I just need to, I just need to have some space to, to clear my mind, he said. And All because you wanted to get your own apartment and just basically pet, you was going to give him, let me make sure I'm, I'm repeating everything. You wanted to get your own apartment separate from him. But remember, I, I heard you say that he didn't want that, that he wanted you guys, you know, just in case you get a baby, that he wanted you guys to be together, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you decided, so did, he, so do you think he was insulted that you just wanted to get your own apartment or where did that come from? Where did the anger come from with him saying no like that? If you're going to give him all of the money to, to get the, to get the apartment, but have it in his name. Cause he could stay there too. Right. Or no. I gave him the assets. I said, you can have the key. We're just going to be, have our own space, you know, but you, you have the key. You, you can access the apartment, you know, where that come from. I think he just all made up. Whatever he says that he made up, the first conversation he said, I'm not going to get arrested. Yeah, I agree with this comment here by Red One X. He say uh, she made an investment down payment. Like like I said earlier in other streams, I think Daisy used selective honesty to go ahead and disarm her, her opponents. Like, you know, people are saying she's not a gold digger because she spent this and that and then and a third. I think, you know, you, she, she put an investment down payment. You know, she ain't planning on paying too much more. Like, think about what she's saying now. Like she's complaining about having business class versus economy. She's then uh, complaining about, you know, he didn't foot the bill for the apartment and all that kind of stuff. I think that's, I don't know, that's like, you know, she's being selective with the little things so people can be like, oh, no, she ain't no goddamn gold digger. She got there trying to spend that money. She got there, she trying to go there and spend that money. You know what I'm talking about? And, and yeah, and then when Lose the Rug also says another thing, she, she spent money on herself. It wasn't like she spent money on like fresh enough. Like she didn't spend no money. Like, yeah. Uh, I guess she got on them little supplements. I think that was just like that was another another bit of selectiveness. I think that was all selectiveness. JP say behind the gold diggers never spend their own money on a guy or his mother planting seeds would be a love bombing him and using her. I don't know. I don't know. I think she I think she was selective out here in these streets. He's a big baby facts. He's a big he can't even swallow. I can't swallow the pills. Dizzy, I can't swallow the pills. I can't swallow the pills. And W said, y'all know the song. Now you a single mom. No, I don't know that one. Kendall with the pregnant talk and fresh bowed up. And here we are. Yeah, that's real. That 50 k she's been on jury could have got her a place. Ooh. I mean, but she still couldn't sign the leases and, and all that because she ain't no citizen. If Daisy real love and was caring for him, she rich and she offered him a tight figure bikini physique. Then Walter blew it. Although she may be more calculating than she lets others know. Clever. Oh yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like you know you kind of have an advantage a little bit when you come from like another country because like people think like you're like a little bit less in the know, and then they also think you might be a little stupid because your accent ain't over the par or something like that. But I think I think she uh, I think she knows what's good. I like says they's the typical three hundred four who could be bought. Fresh didn't want to pay anymore, but fresh ain't getting better. Yeah, and, and then me and Black like we came up with the with the uh, the theory that. That Daisy's a, she's a thought, but she's a good thought. She you know she's, she willing to let you do whatever as long as you pay, you, you know, you pay up your, your monthly finances. As long as you pay up your monthly finances, you're in the game. Promise lady, I think she's playing the card she's got in her hand. If she really is a working lady, she's trying to cash in. Don't have to play. Hit the, <laughs> she out here playing them cards with 5D chess. If she really loved them, she wouldn't be on a press tour making all the parties like dumbasses. Facts. Big facts. JP says being selective would be rich versus average. Or who they can manipulate easily than others. Not all rich dudes are weak minded, but those who are getting the target on their back. Yeah, yeah, Fresh is definitely a weak minded little dude. <laughs> she said, You have to pay for these. <laughs> that ratchetness. Half the people in Miami are not citizens. Yeah, so I mean, so I guess that, that begs the question how is anybody getting an apartment out there in these streets? How is anybody getting an apartment out here in these streets? Yeah, he wasn't paying them installments. He got to install more than just enough for the pay. <laughs> <laughs> that boy was trying to install them nut payments. And he wasn't working for him. A good thought is like cancer. That's ugly. You can't get you can't let them go. And they just keep coming back. Busting the girl who's not your girl is a no-no. And I'm <laughs> and I'm here for her. She must have liked it because she took out his mom. Yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. Uh, let's get it. The apartment for you that was already his first step for him to you. pick me out. Mm -hmm. That was the first step mm -hmm. because I tested him because I said I can pay for myself, and obviously he refused it. And then he sat in his face, and then uh, like 
he stopped he stopped coming home. He wait, 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 wait. What you mean stop coming home? What 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 explain that? Wait, when you say he stopped coming home, he meant stop coming to his house where you were staying, where he invited right. you, right? Okay. Right. Talk about he, that. Tell me what's going on with that one. What happened? So uh that after that that, that conversation, he said he was suggesting me to stay with him instead of getting myself my own place. And that night he went on a show. After the show, he disappeared. Oh no, he didn't have a show. They canceled the show actually. <laughs> Something went wrong and then he left. He left and then he never came back. Did you text him or call him and to see where he was? I, yeah, uh, I wanted to give him some space. So at 7 a.m. or 5 a.m., I called him because I didn't sleep all night. The whole night I was up. I was waiting him. 5 a.m., I called him. He did not reply. Then 8 a.m., he texted me. I'm coming home. He said he just came out from, came out from the club. 8 a.m. He didn't tell me who, where he was going. He didn't tell me um, what happened. Like he didn't pick up the phone call. only told me after. And he did that three times after. Whoa, three times? Yeah, it was total three nights he wasn't home and he doesn't tell me where he was going. He doesn't text me back. He only texts me when he arrives home. Okay, I'm here because I I've got the key. I have to open the door. <laughs> he just completely ignored me. You know what he was doing, Daisy? Because men, th these idiots like to uh, repeat these statistics of over 70% of divorces are initiated by women. You know why? Because men are cowards. They will sabotage a relationship because they can't quit it. They do things. Think all men are cowards, just him. Not all men like that. I didn't, men, okay, oh, wait, not all men, men, but men who, there are men who will purposely do things to make the girl break up with them because they're too much of a coward to do it themselves. And he yeah. just did this. So he was sabotaging the relationship so that you leave him because he can't leave you. Or, well, actually, it looks like he was doing that to make you get mad and leave so that right. he can say, well, you know, it's, it's broken up with this and the other. Well, well what, what, happened on the, what happened after that, though? How can I leave? I mean, I spent the whole, like, whole this time with you uh, and you coming inside on me, plan the baby. Like, I'm... Yeah, Daisy, yeah, Daisy uh, what's his name? Not... Uh... Yeah, Daisy is definitely like Tree stop, but, but Tree is definitely trying to push that narrative. And then I also think, like what the deep is saying, she means black men, by the way. I agree with that. I agree. And I and I can also appreciate that at least Daisy doesn't hate men. She just is uh she's got a vendetta against Fresh, which is not understandable because of uh what's all took place. But like the future album, we still don't trust you. Damn projecting so hard. Chun Lee had to correct her facts. She corrected her, man. Hey, Daisy do look like she, she look like she got some Chun-Li thighs, though. I will admit that. She got them Chun-Li thighs. That's what had fresh in a vice. Had fresh in a vice, and next thing you know, he had he had unloaded. He unloaded. He couldn't even get out of that thing. And she leaned hard to that. In fact, she's leaning hard, hard she's leaning into it. Just Tree trying to trash me, and Daisy won't. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, yeah, Just Tree thought there was going to be a trash fest, and it, and it just wasn't. It, yeah, it, yeah. She, I guess I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say this is a Western versus Eastern thing, but I ain't gonna say all that. Cause Daisy's definitely got her uh, her trashness. I'll date and stay with Daisy. You stay with Daisy. <laughs> Deep say he's staying. He said she can put the Chun Li on him. Let's get it. Potentially pregnant. How am I? How can I leave like so soon? I was I was really mad because he disrespect me by not coming home, not telling me where he's going. You know, he disrespect me. For me, I would never accept that. I would never ever accept a man treat me like that. So I was going to leave, but I was thinking, wait, I can't leave because I might be pregnant. Because y'all was having all that sex unprotected. Right. Well, hold on. Remember that that text message where you said, "Hey, I'm 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 not the I'm not pregnant. I came on my period." You know, said you're lucky this time. And he said, "That was before, though." That yeah, but before. hold on. I, I got to ask a question because there's something about that he said that made me realize he's reckless when it comes to having sex. So I said, so he said something like. Oh, then you said something about good game. You're like, what game? Like, well, don't worry. You, you're, you're, you know, I'm not pregnant. You're, you won't be lucky next time. And he said, it doesn't matter. He said, it's okay. I don't like to pull out anyway. And I'm like, that in itself is just a nasty behavior of saying, I don't want to pull out anyway. Did that not give you red flags that this man, because we, we just saw on also have a testimony uh we're gonna show that after we show the recording of him you know trying to get out of the situation you know saying this is something he does now you didn't know he does this but i'm just saying when a man says i don't want to pull out anyway and he's having unprotected sex did that not give you any red flags hey i agree man i, I feel like uh i feel like her on the lead attorney channel would have been 
That would have been a, a better little interview right there. I, I would definitely probably like to see that. We could make fun of the leader Turner's bad suits and bald head and stuff. And you know, he'd probably be answering the right, he would be asking the right questions at least. It won't be uh, you know, such a I guess a skewed interview or whatever. Like, you know, she's gonna be because you know, she's really trying to push a narrative out here in these stuff in these streets. Arthur Walls, her first is so damn done, goddamn. He's very dumb. He's very dumb. And, yeah, that yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, very dumb. Lee Turner knows how to ask the right questions. Facts. Facts. Do you think she's not a 10 face and body? Uh, mm, face definitely not 9 and 10. I say her body is definitely up to par. Her breast, her breast is fake. I don't care about breast though. Her, her body, her body is, I say her body is probably like 8. I don't know about her face, though. Face, we got we got so much plastique and makeup. We don't even know what, her, what she really looked like. What do y'all say down in the comments? Everybody, what y'all saying? Nine or ten face and body? What y'all going with? Primal says TLA with long. <laughs> he would definitely. Hey, Primal, the vid the video would be like eight hours. The video would be like eight hours. Vanessa says nine out of ten. Okay, first rating. Let's get it. It did. That's why I. My next thing, I was like, "So you're just being a dick." You were an eight. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, because I was just, uh, that conversation went was like okay. also like you you kind of like trying to see Ooh. where his mind at. That's why I asked that, and I also know I was not gonna get pregnant because I was safe. <laughs> you know, uh, at the time uh, I don't produce. How to say? It? There was uh, yes, Ooh. I don't produce I eggs. I know I wasn't get, gonna get pregnant. Yeah. But I just want to see what he in his mind. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. okay. That's why I texted him that way. So what happened on the third day that he doesn't come home? Uh, as usual, so I, I really know what's happening. You know, I was planning to leave. I was just waiting for my deliveries. I got all my stuff <laughs> uh, delivered, shipped from China. So it's on his address. I was waiting for all that bunch of stuff. You know, I planned. Hey, that's real. How can I get Daisy on my channel? <laughs> 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 we need to get Daisy over here, man. Yes, yeah, okay. Red one says she a fine nine. She a fine nine. Finance man says she just ain't pregnant. He he just ain't he ain't he ain't with it. He ain't going. He ain't going. Oh, probably say light switch off. Ten out of ten. <laughs> oh man, not the ten out of ten with the light switch. Bridget say seven, but I'm not a huge fan of Asian women. They still be okay. That's fair. That's fair. At least you can still see what you what you think. Let's get it. I already planned to go the second time he doesn't go home. So and he went on the third time he doesn't come home and I didn't call him at all. He came back 10 a.m. You know what though? That would actually be a great idea. I could I could get Daisy on the show and then I'll have Angie come on too. And then I'll let Angie kind of like soften the blow a little bit and answer the question. I'll still go, I'm gonna still have my little flamey uh talks here and there. But that'll be a great like I like yeah, Angie says she'll come over and help me too. So I know she I know she uh, should show up. And that'll be interesting. It'll be a great, a great time. Let's get it. And and then and then if if, uh, if if Daisy says some stuff that doesn't quite add up, Angie will be looking at me like, hmm? and then we'll just have that look, and I know she capping. I was downstairs having breakfast, and I asked him, "Okay, you can come down if you want." And then the first thing he was like, "Daisy, I really need." Space. Ooh, hey, that'll be. A That's what he said. Show. After yeah. you cook breakfast for him. No, downstairs, uh, I was eating breakfast. Oh, you uh, were eating breakfast, and he just came downstairs and said, I need space. Right. He said, I really need space. So I'm like, okay, what I'm going to need you to do is take me to buy a new luggage because my luggage is broken, <laughs> I'm gonna, and then I'm going to book a flight. You're going to take me to the airport, and that's it. So you didn't, like, you, you didn't no, argue with that at all? <laughs> no, I didn't argue. I was just like, okay, this is what's happening here. <laughs> hey, why <what> don't... <laughs> 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 Why are you doing me like that, man? <laughs> oh man, I ain't, I ain't trying to spin the block. I, I would say she's trying to she's trying to spin the block too. I mean, I ain't trying to spin the block, but I I would say if anything, she is more than more than anybody. She's the one who offered all the the help and stuff. Like I said, I'm out here. I'm looking for light skin caramel and chocolate. But I mean, if she come around doing right, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. 
I was just gonna accept it because okay, you played me in that side. We're all adults, you know. Mm -hmm. I know who you are right now, and I don't want that type of guy in my life. So she was okay. So dollar. you you he he took you to to get some new luggage. And then what happened? You, and of course, you you paid for that, right? You want to remember the million? No, no, he, he paid for the. He paid for the. Okay. And then what happened after that? Uh, we went home. I started parking, packing. I started packing, and then I moved downstairs. There was a hotel downstairs. Right. And yeah, you stayed there. How long yeah, did you stay I, there? I stayed there for one night, and the next day I I left. So you went back to New York. Right. And that night he had a show and. Same day we broke up, he was flirting with other girls on the show, multiple girls. Huh? So disrespectful, super, you know, that got me so mad. How is, how the hell is this man like, just turn like, turn, turning into a different person? Yeah, but you already knew he was like that. When you, when you met him, you, you said you could have whatever girl you want to have. As long as you make million dollar, you can have whatever girl you want to have. I knew he was with other girl and I still did it. You said that. So you knew he was like that already. What are you talking about? B Bean say who your celebrity crush? I if Ruby Rose came by the house with her little deep uh rapping voice and someone was like, Yeah, what you gonna do? I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. B Bean say he got he oh he going Halle Berry. He said he wants the old school Halle Berry. Yeah, but I'm going, I'm going Ruby Rose. She come by the house talking about some, yeah, I only mess with that hood. Aesthetic or something, whatever that little stupid ass song she got. I'll be like, oh, uh, uh, where, where you want to go? You want to show me that? <laughs> What's in that Ruby? Use, but she can't be talking. Yeah, she can't be talking too much. She can't talk to. I don't want her to talk too much. And uh, yeah, she's gonna have to. Yeah, she's gonna be just, just chill out now. Chill out and come on. Uh, just, just chill out now. Yeah, she. Yeah, yeah. We ain't smoking. Ain't smoking around me and drinking either. Now we ain't doing none of that. They had agreement. He slept with other women. <laughs> yeah, right. Now she's mad. It doesn't make any sense. I just I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, she's definitely a good one, a good looking woman for sure. But I, I don't I don't understand how that dude spent 60k on her OnlyFans. I don't get it. But I'm going though if she can. It's like mask off. That kind of scared me. Mm -hmm. I just needed time, you know. I was like, I can't stay in Miami and no more. I have to go. I can't stay in the city. I was super upset. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Now I have, uh, I know when you went um, to New York, let's talk about the pregnancy test yeah, and all that. Cool. Uh, walk through, walk us through what happened the day you got there. Did you talk to him the day you got there or you just watched the, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Walk me through uh, up until the pregnancy test. I didn't talk to him at all. Okay. You didn't talk to him at all. Okay. Not at all until I had a dream. I had a dream, like very strange dream. Like, like something's warning me, like you have to get a test. So March 1st, I got a test Wake up when I woke up in the morning. It's positive. So I was kind of like very shocked. I thought it's wrong, like something went wrong. Maybe it's, Not March 1st? You, know, you mean not March? No, April, April. There you go. 1st. Yeah, you said March. Okay. Yeah, I know. I was like, because you were down there by that time. Okay, so April yeah. the 1st, you took the test. Right, April 1st, I tested positive. The first pregnancy test was mm -hmm. positive. Mm -hmm. Well, I know also they mentioned that on uh, March 24th, I had a pregnancy test as well in front of him. But that was still like early. Mm -hmm. It's like after ten days, I ten days period. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna show. It's just too soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and then I went to do another test. So I sent double this both pregnancy test. I sent it to him. Okay. That's where the conversation began. And how did you feel uh, when he was like his reaction to the text, and then you guys talked? Yeah, that, yeah, that's her. I didn't know she was from, from Kentucky. I thought she was from here, from like Stone Mountain or something. Because that's where all them East Africa girls be at, like Stone Mountain, Tucker, Snellville. I thought she was from here. Because that's what she be saying, but yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm talking about. Let's see. D say she's one of the female predators. All she does is raise and rear young predators. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, when are they going to come out with a female predator movie? I, it, yeah, that would be interesting. Friend Severe said he wanna thrash on Massey Harris. I ain't heard of Winifred Fernandez, but Massey Harris is Ma Massey Harris, she she uh she up the bar. But she uh she probably got some masculine traits. She seemed like she'd be thinking she's stronger than you and all that. 
And uh, she'll be trying to tell you how to work out and eat and all that. It's like, bro, just shut up and just give me that work, now. <laughs> just give me that goddamn work and be quiet, now. Finance man, who is it more financially advantageous to hate fresh and fit? Is it believing this? I I honestly think the fresh believes it too. He's done everything other than deny. Yeah, yeah, that boy fresh. He ain't, he ain't looking good out here in these streets, man. He ain't looking good out here in these streets. Shane Kardashian, oh man. Shin Kardashian is a good one. That's crazy. Ain't no female credit. They just stay on the planet and raise the kids. <laughs> that ain't, and that, yeah, because you never see them at all. I mean, it's fine. But she does seem like she would be masculine. Yeah, she yeah, she does seem like she'd be mad. Like, like I'll be watching her little videos and stuff because they're actually they're actually helpful videos. Like when you see like her little like videos about stretching. And uh, all that kind of stuff. I'll be looking at a stretch and stuff. You know, you can get a good eye view of that. And at the same damn time, it'd be good, good, uh, good content. But she seems very masculine. She seems very masculine. Tree looked like she could be a predator Kardashian. Ooh, the way she's got that hat is not doing no favors for her. It's not doing no favors for her. Yeah, yeah, Megan Good definitely keeping Jonathan Majors out of jail. She probably got, yeah, Jonathan Majors definitely, uh, is having his hands full. Let's get it. Uh, he was kind of busy at when I texted him. He was like, I'm going to call you back. Mm -hmm. Then then that's like we had a phone call. Then he told me he doesn't want a baby. Uh, just go get a pill and all that kind of stuff. He can't have kids. Okay. Well, I mean, he clearly can have. Bro, you talking about masculine win, loser, up? That is, that's hyper masculine. She, she is a good looking lady. I forgot about her though. But yeah, that's hyper mask. Like I can't have you got there telling me how how I didn't do good as far, or how uh, I was looking sorry on the back today, or in training or something like that. Like I could <laughs> now, I, I would definitely. I, I mean, if she came and she was like, "Yeah, you want to you want to beat it up like boxing?" I'll be like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." And then and then but that's probably as far as we can go. I don't think I can really. I don't know if I can really date Alicia Baumgartner like that. But she's a good looking lady though. There's female predators, but they only got to make sure who is the true leader of the Yacha. I thought it was a, a, like a super elder dude or something that was a leader of the Yacha. Not no goddamn, uh, not no, like, no ladies or nothing. No matriarch. Yeah, the boxer. Yeah, that, yeah, the, yeah. she's a good looking lady, but she like, that's a, that's super masculine to me. You go, you, yeah, that's tough. But like I say, you don't have a celebrity crush, but ain't too many female celebrities that wouldn't get crushed. <laughs> they would get that fresh action nuts to the <laughs> uh, Oh, man. And, and the, the deep say, when it comes to Alicia Bogart, he said, I would. <laughs> he said, I would. Oh, uh, yeah, she on the juice and all that, man. She, yeah, she, she, Alicia Bogart, she been no punch in the face like, like Alicia Baumgartner is the kind of girl I feel like she been to punch you in the face and maybe you reacted accidentally and like you slapped her out of reaction kind of like on some counter punch stuff and now y'all have like a full blown fight in the living room. I could I could definitely see that I could definitely see it and I and I feel like she would constantly she would definitely try her luck every time she would she would always try to hit you. Brian over the bench is, is the super old badass elder in charge of the predators. Okay, okay. Also, oh, patriarch. Okay, not the, not the matriarch. Keeping a hundred. Caitlyn Jenner is a masculine look. <laughs> hey man, I hate that they even allowed that joke to even go by Caitlyn. I I hate it. I hate it. The females are in charge of the matriarch intended how. Okay, okay. Terry in the chat. What's going on? He said Alicia too masculine. I'm sure she uses right guard. Ooh. <laughs> hey, she's definitely using the old spice of right guard. She using all the aluminum and everything. Just going hard. Net worth of 2.5 million. Oh, I okay. Yeah, Alicia Baumgartner, if she don't, if she don't make it in Boston, people will definitely pay for that OnlyFans for sure. Kaylin is the goat of getting owned of all time. Yeah, yeah, she got killed. She was getting killed on Twitter the other day. I enjoyed that. That Gillette shaving cream. Hey, Alicia Baumgartner, while she is a good looking lady, she seemed like she looked like she would grow a mustache with. If you know if she ain't, if she don't maintain it, she seems like she'll grow a mustache on you. She using that brute. Oh, imagine a girl running up on you, smell like brute. She cute, but she smell like brute. <laughs> kids, he just don't want kids. 
So he, that's why he said, I can't have kids right now because it's going to be an inconvenience for him. It, but the thing about it is, if he can't have kids, then why is he having sex raw? Why is he <laughs> constantly having sex with these women without a condom, without any kind because, of... Birth- because he's a fucking idiot and irresponsible man. Okay. That's why I make fun of him. And he does that to many girls. Many girls. I receive so many DMs from different women. Okay, we're going to look at one Accusing of them. And telling me the same story, exactly. Yeah. So... I want to, I'm going to play this uh, video for you. And uh, cause this is one of the, one of the recordings you have now, this is, this really shows who he is. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. And I want you to, well, let's, I want everybody to listen wait, to. Wait, wait, wait. I need to say something before. Go ahead. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, put you back on the camera. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I need to say something before, because clearly Myron said he found out that the reason why he broke up with me is because he saw a bunch of text messages. What the hell that is that can say anything with that relationship? Who are you talking about our relationship? You are the one who's behind our relationship. You want to crush our relationship. That's why you're so assuming all, all this stuff. Four text messages from four different dudes. That wait, 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 wait. Why was Myron reading the text messages between there you? There's no other guys. I was fully committed. There is no such as text message, nothing at all. Nothing like that. It's all made up. If Frank thinks I have other guys, he would definitely ask me. If he would never dump me like that. This is how I'm going to explain to you right now by this voice. You guys, listen. Okay. All right. This is all bullshit. All right. So let's listen to this voice message. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here we go. I just realized that I'm going to hurt you. And it's not fair to you. So I have to end it. And I'm speaking like, you deserve a man that's going to actually like do everything for you. But me, I'm going to hurt you. And I just realized that when you were here, which is not fair to you, was okay. You know what? Focus any further. I need time to think about this because honestly speaking, like, I'm going to hurt you and it's not fair. But also what's not fair is that, like, you did all that to come here and I did it to you. I feel like the way he words that, it makes it sound like he's talking about something he isn't talking about. Like, he's obviously talking about hurting her emotionally, but it sounds like he's talking about, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you. Like, Marvin hurts me. I'm going to hurt you. Like, he, like, he sounds like he want to hit her or something like that because she cooking Chinese. I mean, she, <laughs> not cooking Chinese, but she cooking food for him and all that. She probably was trying to cook that little Chinese food. Angie used to be cooking that, trying to cook that uh, that authentic Chinese food for me. She used to be like, you like that American Chinese? That's not Chinese food. She used to be trying to cook that, but yeah. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to hurt you because you're cooking that food. I don't like that food. I want to eat I want to eat bad. I, wanna, I don't want to take pills. I hope the other ladies pug was having adult time with her, not Asians. That's a bad look for the culture. Facts. And you know what, man? This kind of like this whole situation. Y'all remember that that episode of Atlanta where the one the little Asian girl was like, "Yeah, black guys just seem to be obsessed with me and all this kind of stuff." And then like the black dude didn't even want her number or nothing like that. He was just trying to get the uh the little thing that was next to her. And she was looking stupid, and all the white people were more mad than he was. It, it, it slick. It does sound like it sounded like fresh was speaking Mandarin though, for real. Like, like it, it sounded like a little bit. I heard a little was and, and, and all that and, and shiz and that. Let's get it. You did that before when I was in China. I just saw the show when you, the, the England, when you, the show in London that you were on the show with a girl, you were on a date with a girl and you yep. told her that you are single, <laughs> that you were going to take her out the next day. Oh yeah, it's, it's a show. <laughs> No, you do reality show, you realize that. You have to be honest. No, but she's not single either. <laughs> so he says that <laughs> I think uh I think Mr. Magnificent hit it on the head. What's going on with your boy? He said Daisy ain't holding nothing back. Fresh sounds wild manipulative, but he's not good at it. <laughs> the arm gonna hurt you didn't hit how he thought it was. <laughs> right, yeah. He thought he was really he thought he was really cooking with something. And then BB asked a great question. He said, can you imagine Fresh and Fit Power without Myron? How long would it last? It would have never got off the ground. Let's keep it a buck. It would have never got off the ground. He would have been like, who is this little African dude stuttering and shit? And nobody would have ever even known he was he was uh, from Barbados because nobody would have took the time to learn about his background. Would have been like, who is this little African dude stuttering and shit, man? Get the hell out of here, man. You don't know nothing about no goddamn girls. You ugly as hell. It would have been, yeah, he would have never got off the ground. Let's get it. The women that he is on a a fake date with are also in a relationship, but he's pretending that he's single. And and he did that while he was, I don't know. 
tell me what you think about that. I, I'm my mind is blown right now. Okay, so they did. They had a show in in UK. I didn't know that. I didn't watch the show. I only watched it after we broke up. So on the show, he asked uh, clearly. They are pretending like they are dating. Mm -hmm. so on the show, he asked this girl like, "What do you think of a man?" You know, they talk about women value, guys value, and then and then she cleared that he's he's single. On the show, he said he's single, and he was going to take this girl on a date the next day. Wow. So I was like, "What is that?" He's like, it's fake. It's all just show. And that's when you reminded him it was a reality show. Like, <laughs> I said, so is that like you, you, I said, you guys do know you, you do reality show. You have to be honest. You have to be honest. I didn't realize that. I didn't watch the show until we broke up. I started watching the show. It just came so, out. So wait, 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 wait. But when you was invited to the show, no, you're gonna. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be a little stern with you, Daisy. That's another show from London. Oh, ah, okay, yeah, okay. They, okay. They went, they went yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. When you were invited to clear your name, you should have got an understanding of what type of show it was right then and there, or were you just in love? You was too far in love to sit up here and, and ignore the warning signs. I don't have time for this shit. Like I'm busy and making money, yo. Sometimes I work on my phone. I don't watch this stuff. It's like for me. It's yeah, but I mean, it could. For what type of man he ended up being? After uh, he just told me it's just his work and you know, his job. Oh, like, come for me, on. I was focusing on our relationship, focusing on this man, getting to know the man by not listen, listening to other the, the other voices from the other person because I'm in a relationship with this guy. I want to get to know him. Like This is just kind of like my personality, you know? You don't tell me what to do. Okay. That's why. That is why. And I, I don't have time to pay attention on his show and all the other stuff. You know, I always, I love self-improving. Uh, I'm always doing That self. show has got no self-improvement. I'm talking about myself. Personally. Okay, okay. Personally, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Still, you so you you chose this man as a partner, as a, uh, as a. Uh, I didn't know he's a low-class man. Though, oh, okay. I just found out. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? You could have talked to some of us. I know you didn't know us, so you know we could have told. We could have saved you all of this by saying, "Hey, girl, you ain't with that." That's they are. Th these guys are not high value. They're nothing dealing with high value. But we'll get into that later. Um. Okay. Now you, oh gosh, dude, you. What I, I'm gonna I'm gonna address something that Myron said because he's a man, even though he's emotional like a woman. Um, yeah. He kept saying, "Well, she's going around doing all these press tours. You're angry. You've been." dogged you've been betrayed lied to humiliated and therefore now you want vengeance because you want to expose him by telling everybody what he has done to you so yeah i, I agree with you deandre it's definitely uh tree's definitely trying to kind of lead this into you know the way that she wants it to kind of the narrative to be fun he says see how true is trying to give her more credit than she deserved days is a bird <laughs> didn't care what fresh was doing she thought he had she had to come up but it turned out he was lame facts Big lame, that boy lame. He he's super lame. But I, I will admit that uh, most girls don't watch Fresh and Fit. They like would know them from like the viral clips, but they don't watch them enough to know like the uh, the intricacies of them. Like Angie didn't know nothing about Fresh and Fit until I started talking about them on on my YouTube channel, and she's like, "They're so god, they're so lame." And that's to say she made a mistake. Yeah, she made a mistake. They they both made a mistake. They both looking stupid out here in these streets. They were looking stupid out there. Yeah, they were going to happily put their case on. That's so pathetic. Walter tried to tell her the money was gone. So with having an abortion, <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. So, yeah, that's interesting. Like, yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, he was trying to be like, I don't have any money. But she said she she just tried to bust through. She tried to bust through. Yeah, Tree hates black men. Big facts. Big facts. I bet he was calling her and all that, too. Ooh. Ooh, that's ugly. Yeah, Tree hates her. <laughs> hey, you gotta use that against her. Tree hates her own dad, cause I, cause I know for, I know for sure she has a, uh, a white husband. I believe I've heard her actually say it. And in the way she was talking to Jared Taylor, just pissed me off. I think Myron Sabatier Daisy Fresh and Fit relationship. Yeah, I can see that. Like, I, if I can't have you, no one else can. Fresh, I want to, I want, I want to bring you into the room and do what I want to do. I mean, I want everybody to understand when you were going around, when you kept going on your IG and it kept shutting your IG down, we'll talk about why they kept doing that. But like I said, they were <laughs> trying to cause you to have a miscarriage so that Fresh doesn't have to pay uh, child support, okay? Because he's going broke. And oh, by the way, I need to say something here. Go ahead. All right, Charles. 
BB asked a good question, man. Is fresh worth six million fat to fiction? I say fiction. I say, well, well, currently, maybe, maybe all together with his YouTube earnings, he's probably made over six, he's probably made six million at some point. But I say now he's not worth six million. And then if it is, it's probably like assets. He probably got like two properties or something like that and uh and a car and uh that the car's depreciating and all that kind of stuff. But fresh in his bank account, I don't know. Fresh might fresh to me seem like he seemed like he might be running around here either uh he's having he's at the lowest form, like he's got like 10k in his bank account or something like that, or he's running around the highest form, maybe like hundred K in his bank. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't think Fresh is running around here having that. Hell yeah, he's having like he should be having. He ain't he's not a good steward of his money. Now Myron, I might can believe Myron has Myron's such a serial cheap to two kind of guy that I could believe he sat there and saved his money and barely spent it on anything but properties. But I don't know about 20 properties. He if he spent his money on 20 properties, then he's lacking in money too. But that's my thoughts. What y'all what y'all think? Let's get it. I feel threatened right now by them. I'm very scared. Oh, and, you know, if one day I'm missing or something happened to me and my baby, you guys know who to find. They're not going to do nothing to you. I know and I know you think that because you are from China and Myron, you know, he's he's loud and boisterous and it looks like he got some authority, but girlfriend, you're in New York. They're, he said he's gonna end me. Yeah, well he's he can't do that. He I is mean, all this kind of accusation, you know, this is all enough. Uh, I mean I mean I'm not gonna talk about this. Like I, I mean, I mean, I, I ain't defending fresh them, but I mean, she kind of turned into a Karenaki right now. That's a little Karenaki action right now. You run around here acting like, oh, he, he going to do something to me. He going to do something to me. He going to hurt me. I, I don't know about all that now. Let's get it. I'm already. But see, they bully up. women. They. This is this is what. Imagine like, imagine if fresh was like an abusive uh boyfriend in the background. That'll be a crazy. That'll be crazy, bro. I might have to skip that. Fresh is or Fresh got a uh, Fresh is abusive boyfriend because Myron abuses him, so now Fresh abuses anybody else that he can find that's weaker. And then also Fresh and then they calling shots in Miami, get folks hit and stuff. That's crazy. What they do, they bully women, and 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 because first of all, they know that they can bully you for so many reasons because you're 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 yeah, you're soft, you're submissive, either. you're from China, no, you're I'm not, soft. I'm not soft at all. They're fucking with the wrong person. <laughs> I'm not you're fine. only like that now because you're mad. Okay, I'm you're not... only like that now because you're mad. Come on, you're only you're, you're tough now because you're mad, and you yes, should be I'm mad. Not, you should I'm be mad. mad. That... <laughs> I'm a calm person. You know, uh, if I love you, I would I always treat you my best. But I'm sorry if you try to hurt me, as they already done that to many girls, and many girls, and they get away with it. They think they can get away with everyone, and all these girls, they don't have authorities and all to fight against with them. But I'm sorry, you guys. You're not getting away with this. Ooh. You're not. Okay. Let's, uh, someone sent you a message and I want to share that. I'm going to read it out loud because this just goes to show you what type of person that, um, that uh, Walter is. So the message says, hi, Daisy, I believe you. Although I'm not in your predicament, uh, t predicament, I can relate because I've been with Fresh a few times during 2022. He flew me out from New York to see him twice. The first time I met him, he seemed like a great guy and we had a good time and connection. That's the same thing you said, you know what I'm saying? You have good connection. Y'all need to stop with this connection because the connection is, is bad. Um, so he flown me out again, but the second time, however, was a different story. And he was extremely cold and distanced distant afterwards. Yes, it is true. He manipulated me into having unprotected sex with him, even though I was against it. By the way, I'm Chinese as well, sure. and my parents are from Shanghai, so we have that in common. That's what made me message you because we have things in common, LOL. I live in New York as well, uh, as well, if you ever want to talk about our experience. And then to show that she was with Fresh, this is Fresh Dog. What's the dog name? Do you know the dog's name? Uh-oh. They're trying to get that Chinese connection, that Asian hate connection right now. Stop Asian hate. Fresh is a bad guy. And it, so so basically she's saying uh, she wouldn't have messaged you if he was black because you ain't got nothing in common. But yeah, but since she's Chinese from Shanghai, she'll message you. Uh, I don't know. The rise of the Karanakis got down. The rise of the, of the Karanakis. Shanghai in the building out here in East Street. Hey, I... I got the Shanghai 97s. <laughs> That's as Shanghai as it gets for me. The Shanghai Nike 97s that, that was hard to get uh 
They was hard to get on. Uh, what's that? The sneakers app. I hate the sneakers app, bro. Yeah, that's hero. <laughs> that's hero. The Cancuns. The Can the Canakis. She trying to get. She trying to bring out the double dragon. Yep, <laughs> the deadly venoms. The names are crazy. Let's get it. Hero, hero. Okay, hero, so yeah. yeah, this is her in his uh, uh his place taking a, a video of of the dog to prove that yeah she was with him. I, you know what? I, I gotta say this. What is with ladies and having unprotected sex with these guys? I I, I cannot in my I, I no one could pressure me to have unprotected sex be, because of not only because you can get pregnant. No, I'm married now, but I'm like before I was married and in, in throughout my entire youth, it was it, it was never a question. If somebody said, "Oh, I'm not going to I'm not going to put on a, a a condom," I'm like, oh, "Okay, well, bye, leave, whatever." No, 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 no. I don't know, man. Tree doesn't strike me as a type. I feel like Tree was out here busting it open. Now, what y'all think? What y'all think? What's going on, Louisiana May Jazz? Good to see you, man. Vanessa say she yucky. <laughs> Yeah, I can't like I like like I wouldn't even want tree at my house. Look at it. Look at it. I wouldn't even want you at my house. You can't stay in my house. Nah, bro. <laughs> and I'm not and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it with you. I'm not gonna go wrong with you because if my kid comes out with these genetics looking like you, I'm down bad. You're the woman version of fresh. Let's go. I mean First of all, first of all, let me explain that. Okay. Okay. Uh, first time we had um protect sex, it was like Man, very good right. chemistry. And I don't I don't do that with any, just any guy, and it was like very good chemistry, and we didn't have any condoms. I suggested, but it just happened. You know, things like that happened. That was like a mistake. And then then after we we didn't the after I met up we met up in Barbados. I got a a CD test. Okay. So I tested <laughs> him. So I just made Damn. sure he's okay. He's safe. You know. And also we were planning to have a baby. I manifest that have a baby huh? so i was ready he was ready so you know for me there's no issue if he's safe if he's he's clean then that's all that matters because i was ready to have the baby huh. let me let me ask you some i'm just curious i'm sorry this came into my mind right this man by the way i'm gonna let you know spoiler alert i think he's lying out of his mouth this man right. kept bragging about he had a body count of 1000 i don't believe that so i'm just gonna ask you you know saying does he seem like a man that have had experience, sexual experience with at least a thousand women? Okay. We can do a math. Let's do a math. Okay, let's do math. 365 years. If you can have 365 girls for a year, if you fuck, let's just say if you fuck a girl every fucking <laughs> day, and that's going to take maximum two years, plus two years, right? And he only got here, what, since when? No, no, no. He said he did this in Barbados. He said he got most of his... No way. <laughs> There's no way he can do that. Unless you, you're the kind of person you don't have to make money, you don't have to work, you just lie at home. Well, I mean, he is taking... You need to use your logic and use your friends to think about that. Okay. Hey, girl, I'm on your team, okay? The thing about it is, is that I don't believe it either. I'm just saying, no, like... Wait, he told me, though. He also told me that's, that's uh, made up. Oh, oh, man. He told you that he made that up. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I needed to hear that. I needed to hear that. So yeah, we got we got them fresh. We got you. We knew you was lying, but now we know you've been because you've been pillow talking. She put that poison on you. Yo got down your ass. You got down spilled the beans. She put that poison on you. And really, and really, uh, I guess she could have known like he didn't have the experience because he wasn't really doing all numbers in the bed. She probably was doing all the numbers to him. She got all the muscles and all that kind of stuff. You don't never know. What is that a thousand body counts? I'm like, because I noticed that's a lie before. But I didn't know what he wanted to say. And he told me it's not even real. Nobody believes him anyway. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm sorry. He sells a course. I pro Listen, listen. I know this sounds crazy. We got a lot of stupid people, a lot of stupid men here in America, okay? These men buy his course because he said that he's an expert at, you know, Fixing your Instagram oh, to where you can get women to the point where you uh, that you can get a, 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 a little at least bang five women or something like that. And he said the reason why he's an expert on this is because his body count is a thousand and nobody believes this. Not ABBA, not me, like a lot of people don't believe this. And so but he stands by it, you know, what I'm saying because he's when people ask him, where did you get them? Where you get this body count from? He said in Barbados. Look, let, let, let me just tell you something really sticky. Two plus two is four. <laughs> two plus two is four. How the fuck can you count a thousand? 
Is he really that good at math? He can remember he did a thousand? Just a thousand, not 999, but a thousand. But two plus two is four. Oh my God. Okay. Do, do I make sense? Right? Yeah, you make perfect sense. You make perfect Daisy was, she was, hey, bro, she was putting her Chun Lee's around her, bro. He couldn't handle it. That's why he was busting and he, and he, uh, he finished off of her. Cause he, and he couldn't even, he couldn't even, uh, pull out in time because he, she had him right. She put them Chun Lee's on him. But Mike Rather Johnson, she, t the tree is team POC. What a surprise. Right. Yeah, we knew she was on that, on that BS. D. Meanwhile, Fresh looking at his phone while Myron is getting the rebuttal ready. Right. I want to know what they're going to say next. When are they coming back next? That has a body. What are the logical odds that he was facts? He would have contracted the disease. There's just so many different things that could have went wrong. Unless you were on, uh, you were living in Barbados and you were doing uh, SEX tourism, which you still would have got a disease. But that's the only way that I could, I could even imagine him getting close to a thousand bodies. He's doing SEX tourism on, uh, on Barbados Beach, and them little white Karens is coming up like, "Hi, I want you to boss me open." Like a Mandingo warrior. That's the only way I can see that happening. That's all right. But he he also said that he was burning. Fresh said, Fresh said, yeah, you gotta have when you're a player like me, you have to, you have to get the, the a little bit of burn here. Yeah, he wouldn't be nothing in 304. Like she said, yeah, there's no way. He wouldn't be doing that. You you'll be you'll be too well versed. And and also you would you wouldn't even be, I don't even know, like, would you even care to really keep busting girls if you bust a thousand of them? Like you, I feel like he'd just be tired of it. I ain't saying like he'll be running around here going and busting on bus or nothing like that. I hope he wouldn't, but that don't sound realistic. This is foolish at this point nowadays. He's making himself look goofy, airing him out after. <laughs> right, right, yeah, you, yeah, you just you wanted the uh, one of the victims. You one of the cannon fodders of, of his uh, his body count. She can say anything she wants, but the fact that she will let him. Right, right, and hey, deep, you think you think that our uh, fresh put his foot on her neck? <laughs> you think first put his foot on the neck? That's crazy. Where first put his foot on the neck, and he had, he had like, oh, 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 why you treat me like animal? What grown man counts the body you had after ten? <laughs> oh man, first you talk about the white girls and tourism in Barbados. They definitely go there for black men. They do, but imagine you going all the way across the world to go and get a man that looks like fresh. I don't know if that sounds realistic. Love bit anime. I didn't say what's up to you earlier, but what's going on? He said that Guat Guat was good to him. Yeah, she would she would she would brain him out doing everything. Yeah, he hadn't even hit a thousand bodies. He probably on that three or four. Yeah. Yep. Oh, she put her <laughs> damn. Damn. Yeah, right. Right. Easy E territory with the easy A's. Right. Facts. Unless he's a male escort, there's no way this whining baby is even a hundred. Facts. Big facts. Let's go. Perfect sense. Okay. All right. So there's another thing I got to ask. Okay. Um, that watch. Hold on. Let me see if I got a picture of that watch. Hold on a second. I got to, I want to see. Uh, hold on. I, I want to. I'm reading the chat. I'm like, I was very upset and all. I'm like, you must do this for. Yeah. The chat is, the chat is wild. Okay. Here we go. I got the watch. Here's the watch. Okay. So <laughs> let me. Let, <laughs> Let me ask you about okay, I'm trying to calm myself. <laughs> Let me ask you about this watch, right? Now, I look at this watch and I go, this look fake as hell, right? So hold on, let me uh uh there we go, right there. Okay. Now he he looks like the type of person who likes to mix with some real stuff with some fake stuff. So my question is. You know, you you know. Let me get this fake stuff. Well, I'm assuming it's fake. It looks fake to me. Now, this is what my thing is. You understand you, when he tried to give you the fake bracelet, you knew it was fake because you are in a position based upon your lifestyle. You know, real bags from fake bags. You know, real jewelry from fake jewelry. When you saw that Rolex watch, did you instantly know that it was fake? Yes. Okay. Well, I picked it. I picked it. I picked it up one time, but before I picked it up, I didn't know because like. He always wear it at night. It's shiny. I can I couldn't tell, and I never questioned about that. Right. But one time I picked it up. I'm like, wait, this is wrong. Something's wrong. It's it weighs nothing because anything with diamonds like that, it's super heavy. Mm. And I mean, I know Rolex watch. I have several Rolex watch, but that doesn't seem real. I don't even have to go get identified. That's fake. It's fake as fuck. Fake diamonds. That's not even good quality. If that watch is real, that costs more than two hundred thousand, you guys. 
If he has to oh my it, god, what all the watch like that, he can simply own anything like such as a apartment, an apartment that you're supposed to pro promise for your girlfriend. Okay, I'm not mad about the apartment at all. I'm well, not mad I, I, I would be mad because now he's going to take that apartment because the, the place that he lives in now costs too much money. Yeah, I know all about that girl. You ain't got to tell me. I already know. I already know he's going to be moving out and uh, in June because the, par the apartment he has now has cost too much money. He can't afford it. So he's going to get the apartment that you were looking at. Right. After a few days, I text his broker because I really wanted to stay. I asked his broker if I can take that apartment instead. He. So his broker told me, Mm. I think Fresh already is Fresh is gonna take it for June. That's how, how I know he tricked me. He really tricked me so bad. Oh my god. Because he wanted to take that place in, for himself instead. How much is how much uh if you don't mind me asking if you if you don't want to tell me you don't have to, but how much is the place how much is the place that you was gonna get that he's now gonna get in June? <laughs> Four point five. Okay. So okay, okay. If he if if the Rolex watch is fake, what else else do you think he has that's fake? Uh, you know, a bunch of jewelry. He has like he owns server or uh, bracelets, bracelet. I believe that's fake as well. Mm -hmm. Well, he owns real stuff as well. I think he has. So he makes some real stuff with some fake stuff, and so that's how he balances it out. <laughs> Right, right. Girl, what about that damn? Okay, we all know. I just need you. I don't know if you, you probably don't know, but I'm just gonna. I'm just throwing all kinds of stuff to see what you know and what you don't know. That Lambo girl. That Lambo. We we know that Lambo is not completely paid for. Okay, we are assuming that he's leasing it. Are we wrong or are we right? Does he does he own that Lambo flat out or, you know what? Well, well, I could never think of someone could rent or leasing a Lambo for himself like every day. That's kind of like. No, 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 no. You can do it in a you can do it in a, a three year three. Um, um, don't quote me, but you could do it in a three year contract. You could do a three or five year contract, and then yeah, in America is different. You it's, okay? Renting a, a Lambo is different than leasing a, a Lambo. I, I, I have no idea though, but he told me that he owns it. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Now, um, before we get, because before we get into um, the situation with Myron and this, that, and the other, uh, actually, because I, I want, I'll share that later. Just, uh, I'll, I hope to remember, because I want to ask something about Myron and Angie, but we'll save that later. So let's go into where they did a video where they was basically trying to expose you. And yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to play. See, this is what I'm going to do first. Because I, I, I looked at that and I said, these people are POSs. Because let me just tell the audience something. First, the Reddit said, oh, she's an escort. She's an escort. She's an escort. And then yeah. uh, Walter, you know, says, come on to the show and defend yourself because you are not an escort. Um, I'm sure he said, I'm sure he's thinking, I'm not, I don't date no escort. So they invited her on the show. Have you ever looked at somebody and they like, you know, when they're too soft stuff, it's like, it doesn't do anything for them. Like, have you ever looked at somebody that's like, yeah, you got these extra accessories on it, but it's like, you don't look good. Like maybe she got extra hair on, you got extra makeup, or this dude got some extra piercing, or like she got an extra piercing. Like, that's the case with Tree. Like you have all this makeup on and it's lipstick, but it's not doing anything to help you. The augments aren't helping. It's very bad, very bad, very bad. What y'all talking about over here? Is Marquise in here flexing? Let's see what Marquise saying. Let's go. My GTR at least I don't plan on putting lots of miles on it nor owning it. Okay. <laughs> Dude, say so you ain't got no GTR, bro. Stop lying. <laughs> oh man. Where from the days he get all this money? Yeah, she got it from the Simps. She got it from the Simps. So like you call <laughs> Tree's not the best looking lady. She's not the best looking lady. I'm sorry to say it. Even if she was an escort, Mar should have kept that to herself. Yeah. Yeah, Tree's looking like Skeletor, right? Look at look at that. Tell me, look at that. If Tree came to the house and was like, you know what? I'll pay you $500 if you let me get on top of you and sit on top of you until I explode. Are you doing it? Look at that face right there. That's the face that, he, that when you answer the door, you immediately see that face. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? I seen I seen the Jeep Wrangler, Marky. I think you had put your uh, you put your you put it on your store or something one time. But are you doing it though? Real talk. Didn't know she was that down back. <laughs> and he got to move. Yeah, that boy. That boy fresh down back for real. Eddie Long, what's going on, man? I didn't say what's up to you earlier. What's going on? Yeah, Marky said he got a few dollars. Marky said he got some properties up here in, in Georgia. Marky said he got a property out out there in Gwinnett with the Mexicans. He got a property down south. 
with the Mexicans and the blacks. He said he got he got them everywhere. Tree looks like Beerus with locks. <laughs> Damn. She looks like Beerus with locks. Facts. Man. Yeah, and we are having we are having an in-depth stream. Like, I didn't expect it to be this fun. Like I like I was actually running around here on some tired, lazy guy stuff. But but I had came in here, man, and y'all keep me, y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me going. The, the, power, <laughs> the power of Grace Cole. I bought the Jeep because they keep value extremely away. Oh yeah, they do, huh? Because like people always are gonna want uh they're always gonna want a a Jeep, I guess. They they say that about Porsches too. I would bargain. D I mean, but how would you bargain though? How would you how would you bargain that? What's going on, Isaiah 808? What's going on? <laughs> okay, that's how you would bargain. You retort well. <laughs> you say, nah, you gotta up that goddamn. You gotta up that shit. You ain't gonna sit on me for no goddamn thirty minutes and and uh and all that. I gotta look at your face. That's crazy work. You can tell. You can't tell. You can't call tree anything because if you say it about her, you say it about black women. She does seem like that type. He hates his mom. He hates his mom. He hates his mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, she paper bag ready. She paper bag ready. I don't know how people on here sitting around listening to this shit talk. She needs to, to move on. This is why you vet people. There are so many red flags. I don't know. Yeah, facts. Facts. You know, we just, we just, we just, we dragging this thing out. I thought she was Rod Dig when I first saw her. She does sound like a flip mode in the sky. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> if I was drunk, oh, man. Oh, man. I would let her do it for $600 and some tacos. All right, but wait, does she cook the tacos or does she or or does she order them from someplace? What's a what's a place that got good tacos? Some little uh authentic Mexican place. You live in California, you get it from a taco truck, or are you going to like some white taco place like uh what's that place called? Uh man, what's that place called? It's this famous place. It's not famous it's like a chain though. But it's here, I forgot the name of it. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But that, that girl, that girl trees, she's busted. Let's get it. To talk to her, to, to, for her to defend herself and for her to say it themselves. And then they also defended her in, um, in future uh, um, episodes several weeks later. So we're going to watch that. Let me, let me actually go to that right now because I thought it was amazing how they go from, and, and I want to say this to the audience which, which one is Ooh. it? It's, she's either an escort or she's not, if they're going to stick to it. Because it's like, my thing is, is that if you're going to sit up here and, and, down your audience, tell your audience they don't know what they're talking about, that she's not an escort, then you're going to do a flip because she's pregnant. That shows that they don't have any credibility and that they makes them a POS. So let's go ahead and watch them uh, defend uh, defend Daisy. And this is, I got two clips in here of them literally defending you to the hill. Here we go. Fresh, why are you even addressing okay, this? Somebody asked Duke, Duke to watch this. Duke is probably watching. <laughs> Duke is not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Duke did. Uh, shout out to Duke. He really defended you on his stream. So um, trust me, he's, he's your biggest fan. So I'm sure he's watching. Oh, that's that's the play. I'm not thinking about Chipotle. I'm talking about uh, Bar Taco. Y'all got Bar Taco wherever y'all live at? Like here in Atlanta, they got Bar Taco. A couple. Of, I feel like Bar Taco is is uh, franchisey enough to the point where it'll be uh, you know, around the U.S. But Bar Taco is not that great. And they charge you like $5 for like a little baby taco. So I'm wondering, like, you know, are you are you selling out for like some bar taco tacos? Or are you selling out for like some some Mexican truck taco? You know what I'm talking about? Let's get it. Okay, here we go. I'm about to play it. Fresh, why are you even addressing this? Live your life. You're not doing anything a person uh, in your shoes wouldn't do. You're living the dream, and people are gonna hate as long as you know you do right by your people, and with God, you're good. The problem is, bro, true. is that. It's they, because they brought her into the picture. Yeah. You can roast Normally, me. he wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't, dude, you can roast me all day. I really, I really don't care. But when you bring her family and her in, into this, is weird, bro. It's like really weird. Like, and she's cool. She's cool as fuck. So it's like, bro, why? You just want to hit on me? <laughs> Come on, man. This is why I don't do vlogs anymore with girls. This is the reason why. Yeah. Because it makes them look crazy. Yeah. 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 And this honestly, like, it's, it's like, funny because we gave y'all the IRL, right? Showing a little bit of our life. Yeah. And then it, like, now it's like, and you guys wonder why, like, we're reluctant to, like, show you guys stuff that we do behind the scenes is because <sighs> people got to be weird, bro. Like, they always got to be fucking weird and, like, send the girls messages. Like, Angie gets a bunch of stupid ass messages, too. I couldn't imagine. You know, she just has thick skin. You know, I toughened her up. I told her, hey, this is what's going to come with the territory. Um, but it's just, it's just really crazy to see, like, how people are so invested and in not just, like, uh, meat watching, but also, like, in tearing down women that we associate with, like, sending them really weird and perverted messages. Oh, oh. 
don't think Duke is male anyway. I, I don't know, and I and I know he ain't doing it for no YouTube checks and like that. He got his own thing going, so I don't know. I mean, I think he just you know he just get on them trending topics and y'all like it. Y'all be in the chat all the time. Just and she's new to America, bro. She's like, whoa. Why can't someone buy a gift? Why can't someone do, do these things, for example, just in general? And they're like, yeah. oh, fresh. I'm like, bro, you have no idea. You weren't even here. Yeah. <laughs> you don't live in Miami. Like, come on, yeah, man. bro. Um, but yeah. And, and just so you guys know, like, this is on date. You guys should know this from like being on dating apps, being on dating apps, being on social media, whatever. How many fake pages are there where people take models' photos and then use them to advertise something? Uh, <laughs> There's fake pages of me. I'm not no fucking Chad. There's fake pages of Fresh. Yeah. Like, guys, do you guys forget that this girl was like Miss, Miss China? She won a, a, a huge beauty pageant over there. Crazy, bro. Her family is very um, well off over there, by the way. Very successful, right? So, so all right, fellas, how how down bad do you have to be to get on a dating app and use Myron as your profile pics? How down bad are you to be out uh, here running around here doing that? I think you got to be like a, you have to be like scum of the earth, ugly to be like, man, I don't use Myron to go out there and be my guy. He gonna be my avatar. That don't even make no sense. Let's get it. Of course, they're going to use her photos on an escort site, right, to try to garner some type of people. But they're like, bro, that is not that's not her. Facts. And look at the age, bro. Like, damn, I mean, come on, bro. Like, yeah. On the thing, it said it's twenty one. She said her age on, on the podcast. Yeah, she's she's like, twenty eight. So like, niggas are weird, dog. Yeah, bro. Anyhow, yeah. that being said, wink, wink. We're good. Yeah. But you can call in though. Yeah, Give call in. Sure. And please show me the receipts that you have that, uh, that I don't have. Please show me. Those. It's crazy. First, it's y'all niggas get no girls. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. we bring girls on. Yeah. Oh, y'all pay for y'all box. Pay box. No, we don't. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah, well, they're escorts. Oh, yeah. well, no. Nah, they, they, they they only like you <laughs> because you got money. And, that that is like oh, now you, you niggas don't got game. That, then it's like oh, you guys are insults. It's like yo, you can't win no matter what you do. I guess what, you don't send the girls or you're gay. Yeah. You can't win. See, this is why a lot. I keep it a thousand with y'all. This is why a lot of coaches they'll never show y'all their never. their girl, bro, because of shit like this. Okay. I mean, the fact that they went ahead and tried to insinuate that this chick is an escort when she's a model in Asia and she would have been exposed for this, like, bro, whatever. Family would disown her. Yeah, like, bro. Remember, like, so, guys, don't forget, culture in China is so different than here. Yeah. Like, anything like that would get you, like, exposed and disowned from your family. So on some level, bro. And she comes from a very well-off family, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. She, her family are brokies. Yeah, so. I mean, I, I mean, for all my guys out here that are actually well-traveled, you know how difficult it is to get a visa as a Chinese national? To come here? To come here. Got to show documentation. You got to have a lot businesses. of money to do it that you're not going to overstay. Like, the certain countries, guys, if people come here from certain countries, how do you think I knew those Ethiopian chicks came for money? Yeah. Like, <clears throat> certain countries, it's yeah, very difficult for you to get a visa. You know, the United States is absolutely biased against certain nationalities. So, um, especially, China. especially China, especially Russia, these countries that were that are foreign, um, TikTok, that are that are foreign adversaries of ours. Yeah, bro. Like, um, I mean, but that, again, I, I, it's amazing to me how to even explain this shit. Like, with Fresh Show, I was like, what the fuck? Like, like it, it, this is why what the hell? Hell? girls on camera that we mess with or on vlog anymore. <laughs> So which one is it, guys? OK, which one is it? So do you saw how heavy they defended her? Do you saw how they was like, yo, you know, saying if she was an escort, she wouldn't make it to America. You know what I'm saying? Do you understand the adversaries we have? If she wouldn't be able to get in here that way. And then all of a sudden I talk about her talking positive about her family, you know, basically saying that her pictures were stolen. But now but now she's an escort. Now she is. So it's like these. So here's my thing. Regardless. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that. I couldn't even see uh, Oh, Shavion. Like, yeah, let me feel your show, man. That doesn't even sound like a like a, a trip that makes sense. O'Shea live all the way in Africa, and he said, "Yeah, I'm gonna come all the way down to Miami to be on a Arabian dude and an ugly, a ugly ass uh, like African looking dude's podcast." Uh, I don't, I don't, I just don't see that. I just don't see that. Let's get it. This is what you guys believe. Which one is it? OK, which one is it? You can't sit up here and be both. She's either escort according to Myron or she isn't. Now, we're going to prove she isn't. We're going to prove that the videos that they had is, is <laughs> not her. OK, it's amazing that you guys, when it comes to Andrew Tate, this, this blows my mind. When it comes to Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, you are not interested well, in well, actually looking at the evidence. You are have no interest in in, in listening to the, to the victims or looking at the court documents. You just say, la, 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 he's innocent, la, 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 the, the matrix. But Myron shows you a video of another woman that even, not even Daisy, and you guys, yo, she's a 304, she's a 304, she's a 304. So I'm like, which one is it? Because either way, it shows that he's a liar. You're going to have to pick a team. What, 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 before I play that craziness that he says, what, what you got to say there, uh, Daisy? <laughs> okay, I just want to say that I never speak to them personally that how my family is. My family's comfortable, but they're not like, how they said super wealthy. They're they're comfortable. I'm okay. Right. But I never said my family's wealthy. They say that, they say that. Yeah, right. They say everything. Okay. They decide to speak for me. Right. They never ask me for anything. Right. Right. 
Yeah, they. It's the thing about it is, is that that's Myron. Myron is the kind of person that just basically makes up anything. But he, I think his audience enjoys being lied to because he lies a lot. He lies a lot. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the so-called expose. Uh, yeah, that that's one thing for sure. Like, regardless of if she, if she's actually a sex worker, escort, gold digger, whatever, she's absolutely a hundred percent a three hundred four for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. She who falls for fresh? Who you just gonna bust on fresh because he he might have resources? Come on, man. Hey, Terry in the chat is is roasting up here, man. He said <laughs> he said she look like a WWE. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes, guys. Oh, there's this tree. Look at her. <laughs> Damn, y'all crushing O'Shea in the chat, man. <laughs> oh, man, I'm done. This tree got Kate back. That's a great question, Terry. That's a great question. That that would then make my, my scenario a little bit different. Tree run up on you, and she says she needs to sit on you until she explode for thirty minutes. If she had cake on it, would you allow it? Cause I don't, she look like she look like one of them top heavy ladies. Like she just she's so top heavy, everything just went to her to her chest, and she ain't got no type of bre no type of booty meat. Oh, she only stopped defending Fresh and Fit when he realized Fresh and Fit were losing momentum, and then he found out they snake came and saying, "Ooh, ooh, ooh." <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say that's not right. You have a techie friend who can have Photoshop that edited. The, there was some like lame dude that that Duke was. Uh, he had on the microscope on his on his uh his video the other day, and I think that that might be the dude that was like kind of editing their pics and videos. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. Tree does look like she got hooves, and she looks like she do got them bit booty monitors though, the bit booty computer monitors and TVs in the house too. Don't let dude hit. I ain't say nothing about dude. <laughs> She got that surfboard back. Surfboard, definitely. I could definitely see that. I feel like Tree ain't having nothing in the back, man. Tree ain't having nothing in the back, man. Not at all. Nothing at all, man. Let's get it. This woman here, um, and we'll go ahead and play it, because I don't want them to say you didn't play it in full context. I'm going to play it in full context, and we're just going to basically destroy this. But <laughs> before we do that, I want you guys to understand, here's a picture. Why is this, uh, they put green and red and black. Why is that blacked out? Damn. Okay, and also, why is this uh, shaded out? So the entire video is sketchy because it's heavily edited, all right? And you got... You got uh, uh, these identifiers blocked out. If the person is anonymous, then why not basically uh, hide his voice but show the video in full context? This video was so heavily edited, and he swear he got himself a dunk. Let's go ahead and listen. Oh, Let's go ahead and watch this. Photo that you guys can see here. We can see Jin Chen. Oh, and, and he and another thing too. You, I there has to be a rule that he. I, I'm. If you want to know another thing that pissed me off about. Hold on. Let me let me uh, let me show myself on this. Show that man just have to stand out. Show his face. Yeah, let him let that man show his face. But how is it you all are okay with Myron doxing her? Everybody knew her as Daisy Chin. Now, because of him doxing her, okay, everybody knows her name. And this is the thing that these men do. They bully women. They, they, all of this is to make her uncomfortable, make her uh, stressed so she can have a miscarriage. That's all this is. These are grown men doing this to a woman <laughs> to teach her a lesson for being naive, I'm sorry, I love, I love you, Daisy, but having unprotected sex with this guy was just, you know, I know he yeah, love bombed I, you. I know he loved I you. I had a mistake. Yeah. I had a mistake. Yeah. Okay, um, and, I, and, and you're going to learn from your mistake. We, we, you got a sisterhood here with us, with you, okay? I want you to understand you have a sisterhood with you. I just want you to understand that they're punishing you because you refuse to have an abortion. That's all that is. So they're trying to make you have a miscarriage by doing this. And I, I think the, the doxing is just... It's the biggest low ever. And men are famous for doing, I've been docs, okay? But the difference is, is I have guns around me. So they can pull up and, hey, we can take care of that. I'm not afraid. But you don't have weapons. You're in, you know, you are a woman living you by yourself in your apartment. So you have a reason to be afraid for being docs. So this is, this right here, mm -hmm. I don't understand how this was allowed on YouTube, but I'm, I'm going to let that continue. Here we go. A potential client. Okay, I'm not going to say where this was. But what I'm about to show you guys is all exclusive stuff that no one else has. Okay, but it's an anonymous source. Okay, so this is a photo of her meeting up with a guy, and it gets better. We got video and audio. Run the clip. If you call me an asshole, prove it. Prove it. First thing you should know. No. No. 
Okay. He's so proud. What Bobby Blanco, what's going on, man? And uh and and deep. I think uh I think her, her name on her YouTube channel is Tria Logic. But I think uh somebody already said she ain't got no she ain't got nothing but flatness back there, so you're gonna be disappointed. And I feel like I feel like Tree is just uh she's just one of them evil ladies that just has a horrible just everything about her is horrible. She looks like you know how when you be on them video games and you got the uh, the one where you can turn the path of good and evil and you start turning the path of evil because it's more fun, and then your character start looking ugly and all that. That's what I feel like Tree is. She just turned the path of evil, character looking ugly, she ain't got no no booty, no booty meat at all. Nothing going good at all. That thing stanking when she jump on you, and uh, <laughs> it's just all bad. And she, they like finance man, say she looks hateful. She looks like the like she's from the Yacha Prime. Let's get it. What a pos! Him just sitting there, so proud to dox a woman, to falsely accuse a woman of selling herself. So what these men do is because they want to uh, shame a woman. They always result to, oh, she's a sex worker. She's an escort. She's a this. This is just a way of shaming. But that's not her. So let's go ahead and prove how that's not her. Besides the fact that it had all these cuts, besides the fact that it kept showing the back. Did y'all ever think about, like, why does it constantly show the back of this woman's huh. head? Okay? Why don't we see the front? What, why don't, don't we, we, why is it so many cuts, 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 cuts? Where is that? So because Myron basically showed the front pictures of this woman, I decided to put them side by side and also make sure to use the similar lighting. OK, this is Daisy. Daisy. I mean, this is Daisy. This is woman right here is round face. This is Daisy with an oval face. Also, the fact is, is that Daisy's breast is bigger than this. Now, the thing about it is, is that this picture of this other woman, this other woman, it's supposed to be, uh, what, what did he say, 2018, Daisy? Yeah. Okay. First of all, you got your breast implant when? 2016. Now, hold on. I want to I wanna say something to the crowd here. I'm back, man. I'm back. They, uh, they got me. But I, I feel like, man, uh, you know, we, we've been at it for a little minute, man. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed our company, man. It was, uh, it was fun roasting on these folks and, uh, you know, trying to dissect what this girl's talking about and freshen their situation. But uh, I think we should go on and end it, man. 
I think we should go on. And I think uh, I think if the, the verdict for uh, Daisy is, we still don't trust you. I think we're like future with that. Uh, True, we already, we, we already, we see how everybody feels about Tree. Tree's slick guy. She, she looking bad, looking ugly. And uh, even if she paid me, I, I don't know if I want to do it. You know, something about, that's how bad it is. Man, Myron ain't about to challenge me the boss, man. If Myron do that, he's going to, he's going to get blended. Quit the blender. That's all I can say, man. Hey, man, do y'all, do y'all be on Instagram and y'all be seeing like all these, like, like there's like all these ladies, like, like thought and real, like openly thought and hard. Like that just kind of made me think of with like Daisy doing that little thing with the, uh, you know, with the, what's it called? With the, uh, with the what, not, not Daisy, but the, you know, the little fake AI video that they just had. Like, like I'm just, I just, just kind of have me think about it. Like it's crazy. Like, like the booty verse on Instagram is crazy. It's like, as soon as me and Angie broke up, the booty verse was like, come on back to us. Next thing I know, we got girls out here with their booty hanging out. We got, uh, we got this girl got her feet hanging out. This girl, she she uh flashing you. It's all kind of crazy stuff, man. The booty verse is going crazy on Instagram, man. It's like it's like these it's like these women are worse than they were before. It's crazy, but uh, yeah, man. Like I said, man, I enjoyed y'all, man. Oh, uh, who who's fighting today on the UFC, man? It's probably some no name. I don't even know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, find us, man. A- Angie's my old girlfriend. She was Asian. Yeah, she was Chinese like da- like Daisy was. So I'm looking at it from a different lens. I ain't, I ain't got the uh the rose colored glasses like everybody else got on. Yeah, man, my my uh yeah, man, my algorithm is going crazy, man. Like it's like it's like when I was when I was with Angie, like I like I was I was super focused. Like I didn't I didn't like none of that stuff came up. And then it's like once it once like we broke up, it was like Instagram was like, come on, check it out. The booty verse, man. Like, 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 like Black Light said, the booty verse, man. Sound like a wild name for a strip club, man. Uh, now, nah, Angie wasn't built like Daisy, but she was in, in in really good shape, though. She wasn't built like Daisy. Like, I don't know. Yeah, she wasn't built like Daisy. She was. She was. Uh, she definitely was having more than like your average Asian woman. I'll say. She wasn't. She didn't have no breast or nothing like that. But she, everything else is uh, definitely more than the Asian woman. I think. I think Angie looked better than a lot of the Asian girls. I used to tell her all the time too. Whether she think it racist or not, I don't care. But yeah, she yeah she's looked better than the fuck to me. But yeah, yeah man, I appreciate all y'all man that came through and checked me out. I appreciate all y'all that uh you know that man might have came in and dropped back out. I appreciate all y'all that's gonna watch a little bit later, man. And now I'm about to go on out here, man. We got a, we got us a light skin a light skin girl on the she on the she on the chopper block she on a docky. So we are gonna see what she talking about. And then I'm gonna report back. <laughs> but uh yeah. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all, man. And uh yeah, I'll see y'all next time, man.